Yeah. Hello. Okay. It's just, yeah. It's, 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 you know? Yeah, but there, huh? there is, there is a scene we actually have to do at the camp. Cool. I am on on the camp right now. So hop mm -hmm. in and do whatever. Okay. Why do I always forget the most important stuff? Forgot mm -hmm. to set up the map. Uh, let, let me. Move right. Uh, if you want to, I can um, cut this part out of the video. <laughs> Uh, this is a story wait. all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. Was the map always like this? Uh, uh, if you look down here, there's yes, yes. like a smear outside of the lines. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I think I fucked it up by accident when I was checking some stuff. So, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Like, I, I was playing I with the color of stuff, and yeah. I just well, noticed... I, I, just... <laughs> I, just, I just noticed Silver's house. And I'm so excited to see whether or not Silver looks strangely like Chrome or not. Hey, Chrome, don't don't skip the maps. I'm sorry. Yeah. I was looking. We're, I was we're, looking around. We are not uh, speedrunning this game, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this was pretty. Can you speedrun D and D? I don't think you can. I I see someone speedrun the Curse of Start, but uh... punch him in the face. <laughs> uh, Okay, D come on, get back on track. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, d uh, d Chrome, uh, d or, uh, yeah, Chrome, you, we discussed what happened. Uh, d d uh, d I, d we discussed what happened. Uh, that, that whole thing happened, okay? Uh, d she explains, d she explains to you. Uh, but, and, and then we move on to someone else. Okay? Mm -hmm. Uh, and then, uh, so Akame and Silk are just both sitting on the logs by the campfire. Uh, Guildmarm is still in her bed. Uh, huh. I did I, did I just had, like, the, the, most vivid image of Rye and Apple Cord like curled up on a bed. That's okay. super adorable. Okay. Like, uh, anyway, sorry. It, Your system shut uh, down up. after the cute image, huh? Like when you hold a big dog. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like I'm, I'm imagining Apple Cord wrapped around like Rye, like like how a big dog does it. Yes. Uh, and he's fluffy too. So cute. Um, so fluffy. Okay, uh, so, uh, Akame and Silk are both just sitting on the bench. Uh, I actually, the scene I had in mind, uh, involved, uh, everyone actually being out here. Okay. So. Okay. Well, what's There's the moment? There's something we don't have to roleplay, but Chrome, uh, after they, after him and Neil woke up, we're trying to comfort her from her nightmares. Yeah. So, yeah, I guess. If she wants to stay in bed, that's fine, but Chrome will head out. Yeah, Can I do does. one more check to see what what about Rai's room is so familiar to yeah. him? Because I've been rolling horribly on every single other yeah. one of the checks. There is a single <laughs> pizza <I> inside. <laughs> even if oh, the pizza even is so failed. familiar! It might be even of my uncle failed. Dante! <laughs> <laughs> uh, even if you fail, you will remember. Uh, Rye will remember this session. So okay. <laughs> um, which which stat do I use? History. Uh, history. Yeah, history. Which one? I'm sorry, you cut out. History is an intellect. If you don't have uh, yeah. if you're not proficient, then okay. I'd say you're proficient in personal history. <laughs> so add, yeah. add weird if you weren't. Like, yeah, add yourself like a plus two to it. 
if All you right. aren't already proficient. I'm not. <laughs> Natural Woo! 20. Woo! Yeah, uh, seems like when the guild marm set up, uh, set up your room, something weird about it, and, uh, you know that this is the exact layout of your room back at home. Huh. That's weird how she knows that, because I don't think she's been to Rai's house. You don't know that. No. <laughs> no, uh, I as far don't. As you know, as far as you know, she's never actually been to Ambergrove at all. <sighs> it's confirmed, Ugo. Marm can read minds. Huh. That's weird, but he's not going to question it. Not yet. So he just yeah. walks, walks out onto the grass with the apple core. Actually, apple core is still tired, so he just gets to take a nap on the whole bed by himself. He looks at you, does big dog yawn, and lies back down. Yes, right after Rai has to like Pry roll around. Up. Yeah, get the giant heavy velociraptor. <laughs> I off feel like him. you woke up like an hour ago, and you're just like, "This is fine." <laughs> I think the dog was laying on you. Yeah, once the dog is laying on you, you have you to move. stay there until the dog wants you to move. You you don't have the light to move. He comes and sits by Xenon, still kind of tired. He's not really a huge morning person. Mm. When you sit, when you sit down, uh, when you sit down, uh, instantly Xenon will give you a plate with some fish and uh, maybe a juice, like orange juice or something. It uh, looks like hell. Yeah, like <laughs> uh, okay. Here's the thing: when everyone sit down, magically there is a plate uh, in their hand and uh, an orange juice or whatever juice he made. Crumb see the fish and decides to eat the plate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. With with the Chrome, he has his own special meal because he's a special boy. Chrome doesn't eat. Chrome doesn't eat monster. He he will he will bring you some apples and vegetables. I guess. Chrome will eat the whole ass apple. Chrome looks like hell. Like you could hand him anything and he might just eat it. Oh, uh, be careful. I, Apple may, seeds are poisonous. Don't eat all of them. Uh, maybe it, it's I like him, his hair, which is normally fluffy, like naturally is even more fluffy. So he <laughs> he looks almost like a ball. He looks like a like he has like an Eskimo coat on with just like his face popping out of it. You look really tired. I always am. Maybe the S last night. Uh, will, I'll hurt you. Yeah, Zinu will wake up and uh, give me a sec. Zinu will go here and we'll put a plate of fish here. And he will look around. Yeah, I didn't see him. Okay. Have a nice meal, my dude. And he will go back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking in the distance. Uh, yeah. 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 The fish has been poisoned. <laughs> hey, how dare you? Xenon will die before he poison his food. <laughs> no, you'll die spice from the poison. The no, he'll die from the spice. Uh, <laughs> I like how I like how you'll say, "I'll die before I poison my food." Would you've made food that could literally kill a man? But yeah. technically, it's not poison. That's it. So. Fair. <laughs> it's it's an like explosive. You are weak. That's why you don't That's... eat my food. <laughs> I eat That's it. That's almost worse. <laughs> okay. Fair. I eat it. Yeah, yeah. It makes uh... my spit like gasoline. But I eat it. <laughs> <laughs> that seems like a problem. Uh, it's uh, fine. Akame, uh, still a bit sleepy, uh, interrupts you guys and is like, D uh, sorry for butting in. Um... I I know this is a bit awkward, uh, given the fact that we've traveled for multiple days and we haven't really talked. Mm -hmm. um, so, like, I know I haven't really talked that much with you guys, but since we'll be traveling together at least for a little bit longer, uh, might as well, like, try and get to know you all. Uh, so, so I, I guess, introductions. Oh. Uh, you... Yeah. Um... I, I who goes like... first? So, so what, we need to introduce ourselves. 
or something? I, I guess I was going to introduce myself first because I realized that I never actually did. Um, well, fair. Yeah, uh, you sort of just came here and started, you know, kissing Silk. Yeah. Which yeah. is, I mean, um, a, little, a little awkward. Accurate. Yeah, um, well, as you all know, my name is, a, my name is Akame. Uh, Hi, Akame. I... Hi Akame. I, Hi Akame. I am. <laughs> I am sorry, Silk. I am Silk. She looks it over at, over at Silk. Girlfriend. Uh, and I. I have a decent amount of experience with like guard work and whatever. Actually, to the point where I was recently promoted to guard captain. Uh. So, yeah. Um. I. I don't really know what else to say, uh, but thanks for just in, thanks for letting me got, uh, thanks for like just letting me hang out with you guys, even even if we never really did talk. I mean, be oh out. well, I will. Yeah, hanging out with you is fun. I mean, I'll be honest. Yeah. Uh, Silk is hugging you ninety percent of the time. Even if I want to talk to you, I need to talk to Silk. And I'll be honest, that's kind of hard in general. Like, I remember vividly that she punched me two times without any reason, so... Ah, uh, there is a lot of reason. Yeah, say that to yourself. Oh, yeah, also... Also, sorry about, uh, sorry about whacking you with my gun lance a couple times. That, that was a bit uncalled for. It was just sort of like a heat of the moment thing. No, you... you're in your right. Okay, oh... It's okay, you know what? To punch me on. Tomorrow, bo- three of you don't have food. We'll not get breakfast tomorrow. The three of you. <laughs> I oh, will just destroy the gonna... dirt. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But you're not going to eat my dirt. <laughs> 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 yeah. Like I'm just like a hammock and cook, so I'm fine. Cool. I, I mostly have like. To be fair, a lot of my cooking is more so, uh, is less so built on flavor and more so built on, like, actually what is good for you. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, so I, I could, I could, like, make a meal that you could live off of, but I don't think it, I I don't think it'd be nearly as good as something that, like, Xenon makes. Mm. I mean, I'm gonna mute. Or oh, go you guys go on with the introductions. I'm gonna mute myself for a second and just listen because I have food and I don't want to gross you guys be. out with the uh, okay. food eating noises. Well, <laughs> as you guys, as you guys know, I am Chrome. I am the Hi, walking. Hi, Chrome. I am the walking embodiment of love. I'm a very tired boy. Uh, can you beat the last one? And I'm a very tired boy. No, the one that is before that. I am the walking embodiment of love. Yeah, that's bullshit. Like to someone else. It's not. Like, how? Out of character. Hmm. Out of character, you do not know I that. know. I, I know. I'll come with, get, and, oh, come with the tired and same shit. Okay. <laughs> All right. Ah, uh, Zenon, okay, I think, I think it's my turn, okay. Zenon Von Chanduck, Ch- Chadduck. Um, I am the bard here, hey, shut up. I am the bard here, I am the cook here, and I am, uh, I am kind of tired too. I guess. Yo. Bad boys. <laughs> okay, okay. Real we'll talk. I, I, I really, I'm. I wake up a lot in the morning. I make food, but that doesn't mean I am awake completely. Like, it's it's a process, you know. Crumb mm-hmm. is the type of person to wake up at six and be tired the rest of the day. Mm. Like he'll get up early. Yeah. That doesn't mean he want to be up early. Mm. Fair. Now I will pass the mic to Rai. Akame politely claps uh, after 
<laughs> to after each of you like give your little introduction. Uh, is it my turn or is it Silk's turn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I I don't really think Silk needs an introduction, but I mean, if she wants to give one, she's giving <laughs> give her an introduction with her lips. Hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, I don't really know a lot of you super duper well. I mean, I know you're a guard, and I know you play music, and I, I know you're super duper weird, Chrome. Yeah. Uh, um. Yeah, I'm Rye of Amber Grove. Uh. Hi, Rye. <laughs> hey, that rhymes. Oh, rhymes. and hi, Xenon. I'm sorry I didn't say it. Mm. Um. I'm from Amber Grove. That's where we're going right now. It's my town. It's pretty cool. I'm a ranger. Also a druid, but they're different things. Uh, um, no, but then you're basically like a druid. Yeah, basically. I'm just here to have a good time and, you know, have fun. Slay monsters. And not die. Hell. Okay, that, that's just something weird? Okay, that's okay. Oh. And then uh, Zen wake up and okay, I will I will bring someone in. Someone need to eat his her breakfast. Good mom, wake up. Uh she she had like uh when you walk in you see like uh her upper half is like fallen off of the bed. She's like face down, uh d like legs still on the bed, uh upper body completely fallen off. Okay, uh, that's still asleep. That's she uh, does highly uncomfortable. Okay, he he will like, try to grab her and, like, uh... Chrome, Chrome will, Chrome will look at Xenon approaching the tent, it's like, Don't wake her up! Why? Uh, uh, you wake her up, and, uh... Before, before that happens, you wake her up. Hmm. Nothing bad happens. Yeah. Hooray! Okay, why? Okay. Okay, who cares? He will... Last time I woke her up, she punched yeah. me in my face. He will grab her and, uh... uh... Try to... It wasn't a punch. Mm. Uh, it... Yeah, it um... wasn't a punch. It was more of a weak slap. Fair. Um, to, to, uh, yeah, no, she's sort of like groggily getting up and like, to, oh, we're, to, are we gonna like. Pack no, up and start food, again? breakfast, eat. Oh. Oh, I, I, I forgot about <sighs> that. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Just. Summons her to the summons her to the log. He will drag her mm. if he need to. Breakfast is important. Mm. Yeah, she goes along like a limp, uh, uh, like a limp noodle, just like get, just dragged. Uh, and come, bring your GF too. If she didn't eat, you will not get any power to move. Okay. Uh, Sometimes I feel like I'm walking with children. God damn it. We are children, you retard. Wow, hey, I didn't... Be nice. I be realized nice I words. said it, and I felt bad immediately. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What a nice <laughs> guy, Chromes. What a nice guy. Look at him both me names. The time. I'm sorry for the bullying. <laughs> to be fair, that's perfectly in character for Chrome, not realizing how offensive that is. <laughs> he, I feel like, I feel like in his tired state, and in my tired state, he said it not on purpose, but didn't realize he said it. Yeah. We have to well, be nice with our words. Like, when, when I've woken up before, I've just said something not realizing, just being like, oh. Yeah, yeah it's, it's one of those situations. Chrome, mm -hmm. yeah. Chrome. Chrome, Chrome, Chrome before entering realizes what he said and will walk back and go, I'm sorry for being mean. I will never forgive you. Oh. <laughs> You're oh, indeed. <laughs> Zeno will remember this. <laughs> now I am a sad Chrome. The bond link has been broken. <laughs> yep. See, Chrome, Chrome will just walk into the tent, nail breakfast. Uh... She, she groggily, uh, into, or well, not so groggily, uh, 
she, she's wide awake at this point. She's just sort of like, uh, she's cocooned herself in the blankets, and it's just like, I mean, is it all right if I just eat in here? No! <laughs> I think that... She hears, yeah, she hears that through the tent, and it's like, all right. And, uh, slow, and, like, slowly unwraps herself from the cocoon, and, uh... Girl, just straight up about to pick her up in the cocoon and put her on a log. <laughs> Nah. Uh, no, she unwraps herself from the cocoon, emerging like a beautiful butterfly, uh, and and then heads over here and just sits down on the ground. Crumb will see this, pick her up, and put her on the log. <laughs> and he will sit on the ground. No resistance. He will sit on the ground. <laughs> it's like picking up a cat by the scruff of its neck. It just sort of like dangles. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Nell, are you vegetarian too, or you can eat meat? Uh, I, I eat whatever. A bowl of fish, just like the others, except Chrome, who is special. Um, Chrome, how intact the bowl of is fish. this fish? How intact is this fish? Like, uh, is it, is it... Big, okay, just imagine, uh, uh Zero is the kind of cook who remove all the bones from the fish just to make it uh, easier to eat for anyone. Crumb will even look. Like, even like even like properly descaled and and like uh, head cut off and all that. Uh, except the head. The head will keep it. like the tail and the head will keep it. Will keep them, but the structural bones. Skeletal you know? and probably like the organs of the fish are gone. Yeah. 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 No, she she's. Uh, she just bites the head off and just starts munching on it, uh, not even using utensils. Chrome's mm. only ever seen her turn into a fish, so this is weird. Mm. <laughs> so, no, you you've seen her uh, you've seen her turn into a uh, into something much larger than a fish. That's the frenzy virus. You can't blame her. <laughs> oh no, she can just do that. Um, what? That is news to Chrome. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, she turned into one yeah. she, when she was fighting Akame earlier at the uh, was... training grounds. Mm. Huh. Oh, okay, oh yeah, uh, sorry. I. To be fair, I'm... Uh, okay, th this might sound gross, uh, but I'm actually, like... I was raised on, uh, I was raised on stuff like just, to, uh, not even... Descaled fish and stuff, so like I'm I'm used to this sort of stuff. Fair enough. The fact that the fact that the scales are gone and like the and like the bones are gone is like nice, but not really necessary. Hmm. I don't think you need to worry about eating weird stuff around us. I think I can literally eat nitro shrooms. That's reassuring. Akame just looks in the background like, wait, what? Oh hey. yeah. Something's like, no, when, when I go fishing one day, don't worry, I'll catch you some fish. Thank you. Just to make it clear, uh, Neil, what do you like more, with the uh, bones or without? Uh, was I clear or I need to repeat? Uh, uh, d d who was that directed towards? Uh, Neil. Neil. Oh, uh, she, I, uh, I, I'd say it's like either or, uh, the, the bones give it some, like, texture, uh, it, it feels a bit too soft without them, but at the same time, it's cooked more thoroughly, so. Yeah. Yeah. Zero, uh, Zero blank his notes, write something on it, close it, and put it back again. I mean, I think you should probably not eat fish bones. They can, like, get stuck in your throat. Uh, and... not if you chew them well enough. Indeed. I don't think you should be chewing fish bones either! I... Chrome, and, Chrome and Nail are on the exact same page about this. I've kicked uh, fish on a stick and I've eaten the bones. Why I've are you all so bones. weird? Yeah, here's the thing, like... I, I think I get used to it now. I think I start to get used to it, and that's... Welcome. Me. That's literally scaring me. 
Chrome will look at Xenon and Rye. One of us. One <laughs> of us. No. I well, refuse. yes, you're all we'll nice a... friends, but. That's what I mean, okay. dude. Also, don't don't call me weird when you have a literal dinosaur in your tent. His name is Applecore, and he's a uh, good friend. And he friend. kicks ass. And so Applecore so comes. Uh, Applecore, at the, the, as you say his name, he emerges. Huh, uh, my mortal enemy. Like a dog. <laughs> he emerges. He sees Zen on straight away. <laughs> runs at him. Uh, he goes. He goes right here. Uh. He, uh, in the silhouette of the fire, he looks kind of menacing. <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. Menos, and, menos, menos. Uh, and you can tell he wants something. He wants something. <sighs> what you could know he, what he want? want? <laughs> you, you know what so- he I have no <laughs> idea Roland what he wants. <laughs> Roland Probably food. Xenon is something. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, then. Uh, what is my intelligence score, really quick? Please uh, tell me it's like a negative. Uh, I'll keep that too. It's not that necessary. And yeah, this one. Six! You can tell he wants to be padded. He wants to be batted! If I, if I put my hand on it, he may not bite me. He's gonna bite your hand. Why, well, dude? That's him. I, I, you know, I don't, I don't know how he works. Uh, so you reach out to pat him. No, I, and, I, uh, I told Rai to pat him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Rai reaches down and like pats him on his head. He gives uh, him like. He does not stop making eye contact with the xenon. Wait a minute. Is that me? He wants he don't. food. Okay, uh, then we'll look at Chrome. Okay, at least let me have my fun, okay? Ah, god damn it. <laughs> and he will uh, get a fish and uh, put it in his mouth. Maybe a bad idea to Apple put Cor- it in him, his mouth, but... Then, let, <laughs> let like, me... Yeah, uh, you, like, put the fish uh, in Applecore's open mouth, and he just, like, slowly closes his jaw, and then reopens, and the fish is gone. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Zenon will look a little bit surprised and he starts clapping. Wow, a magic trick! I think he still wants re- to be pet. He's a cool a dinosaur. I mean, you apple put core. another fish. <laughs> hey, a, a dinosaur and apple core rhyme. Oh, uh, yeah, apple core does. does the same thing again. Okay, that's <laughs> creepy now. Can we go to the village? I mean, I, I know you guys like to eat my food, but I think we. We, like, we risk more time than we need. I think Everyone, we can't uh, leave until you pet Applecore. Uh, actually, uh, what happens, uh, after you feed him the second fish and, and are like, that's cool, uh, he, uh, he, like, reaches his, uh, he reaches, like, his little claw out, points it at you, and then pats you on the knee and walks off. Like, <laughs> like, you're the pet. <laughs> 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 oh, that's a new trick. Jim, stop the fighting music. I will beat this. Bi- I will be <laughs> Look, this guy. Applecore, this Applecore did. Applecore did the thing that mob bosses do, where they like they pat their like workers on the cheek. <laughs> yep. Like you did good. <laughs> yeah. No, that's exactly the sort of like uh, emotion you got from that. All right. So you want some battle music? Mom. <laughs> <Don't>... <laughs> I'm I, sorry, everyone I, will be against you, Xenon, and you know it. I don't care. Um, uh, sorry, no, I, will, I, I will use this one. I will use this one, okay? Uh, I'm sorry if I will uh, take some time with this stupid joke. I'm sorry. Applecore's gonna kick your ass. <laughs> oh my god, perfect. Yep. <laughs> I had the actual battle theme ready, but alright. Don't. Is this fight, talking? Or? Do. Oh, uh, you put play twice okay, in the no, thing. Let me, let me just, let me just, just, <laughs> yeah, I think that's working. Uh, you no, forgot the little did. dash in front of you. Okay, you, you know what? Uh, let, let me just. Do. You know what? Here. You know what? Here. Hmm. 
Okay. Let's just use. Or. There you go. Oh, now it's both. That's okay. Oh, we can use both. Fair enough. Fine. One for it'll, Xenon it'll and one for Abacom. Yeah? Mm hmm. Yes. What do I want? Uh, roll initiative, I guess. Okay, I, can we make Are it fast? Are you about fast? to wrestle with Apple Core? Can we make it fast and we all, we both roll for uh, well, strength. Both of you roll a strength check. Yeah, and that's and it. Whoever, and whoever gets higher wins this bout. Yeah, just, just yeah. Oh, that is. Yeah. Alright. I rolled mine. Which one is mine? Okay. Yeah. Ah. Uh, did the apple core throw you like he did the judo throw again, but on yeah. solid ground? <laughs> uh, well, what he does is, uh, is he actually, uh, so Xenon, you make the first move, you charge at him, you try and like, uh, to, to, you try and like, uh, grab, him. To grab at him. And, uh, he steps to the side, trips you, and sits on you. <laughs> Apogor has like the soul of some ancient fighter. He, he's he's not like attacking you anymore. He's just like ah yes. Uh, Zeno My lost. Perfect throw. Zeno lost. Crumble. Could I like claps? Woo! Good job, both of I'm you. I'm gonna go pack up the ten. I'm gonna go pack up my. Okay. Uh, Please, if you I'm guys wanna get sure. your. If you guys want to get your stuff, I can get all the tents. Okay, Xenon, are you okay? Applecore, can you? Xenon is Xenon is like imagine like Xenon is lying down in his face on his face. I mean, and not moving at all. <laughs> Applecore, Apple uh, trying to get your leg. <laughs> well, uh, you know what happens? Applecore like grabs your hair and pulls you back so you can breathe, uh, <laughs> and pulls like your head up so you can breathe. Xenon uh, will yeah. refuse this. Xenon will put his head down more. Like he will. He will. You hear a Apple rip Core... in your. He pulled out all of Apple... your hair. Nope. Applecore lets go once you start pulling down. Uh, and you slide <laughs> your face into the ground. <laughs> <laughs> and it gets the ground. <laughs> Apple. Or er, Rai comes over here and, like, does, like, the lean down and pats his knees. Like, the come here, come here. Animal thing. He you obeys. Do, like... He obeys. Chrome, Yay, good apple core! Chrome, Chrome will go over to Xenon and uh, uh go like, dude, well, where did Xenon go? Yeah, yeah. Chrome, will, Chrome will go to Xenon and whisper this to him and go, you still kick more ass than that dinosaur, dude. It's like, just so Xenon can hear it. Chrome will, uh, Zoom will look at you, Chrome. He will say, Kill me. <laughs> Take I my no life. Right I now. No I want to die. Chrome will give you a hug. Kill me! And In the I, background, I, Bri is just playing with Apple Core. Just okay. having a great time. Okay. You've all that, been there. I think that's Remember. how we end this scene. <laughs> Yeah, just yeah. just kill, like all the birds start flying away and they hear the words "kill me." <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like at all the right. end of like uh, the movie where like it backs away and the character is like on the ground. No. Kill me! <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, so we can move to uh, the Amber Grove map now. Hell yeah! Let's just Yay. play it right now. Do I, do I play the music? Uh, is it play or oh, wait? <laughs> Uh, do I play uh, the music? Uh, would I know if druids would like sure. Betty around or not? Oh no, uh, she's an abomination to nature. Uh, <laughs> wow! Yeah. Find familiars in an abomination to nature. They're, yeah, they're living creatures in magical bodies. You created it's fake like, life. It's not fake. Betty is a living, breathing creature. Uh, so she's the... made of magic. Just yeah, that's no, Betty's body is made of magic. Her mind and soul are her own. Uh, okay. She makes her own choices. Uh, guys, where where to put our box? Uh, very bottom road. Uh, uh, like uh, like uh, widest uh, bit of the road. Okay. Uh, before Betty's we start, I, I want to say something for Lupa and the GM. Great yeah. fucking job! This map is <laughs> awesome. Good job, guys. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I didn't do uh, yeah. that much of it, but 
It's great. Yeah. I, I actually uh, didn't do any of it, so just don't even. Oh God! <laughs> uh, it's the uh, it's the other version of the map that uh, mm. that Lupa d helped with. Yeah. And okay. actually, without mm. Lupa's help, the other map would not look good at all. I'm very mad at you all for calling Betty an abomination. But she is. Only her body is made out of magic. She is she the thinking, breathing creature. Same reason why they're mad. At, same reason why they don't like Chrome. Yeah. Why? It's like saying they don't like fucking uh, ASMR either. Well, they well, like no. ASMR because of what they embody. Literally, what what familiars are is their essence of creatures put into bodies. Yeah. So it's it's the same thing as it'd be like giving a prosthetic to someone without an arm. What? Uh, that's, look, that's well, yeah, that's... <laughs> look, man, look, man. It's a monster hunter. Who cares? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just okay. don't like you calling <laughs> Betty a monster. Well, she she is though. She's, She's an Azuro. <laughs> we'll have a fight about yeah. this. <laughs> it's a. <laughs> I think it's the fact that it is made with arcane magic, which is like the exact opposite of what druids do. Makes sense. So and the fact that and the fact that arcane magic was what essentially uh, the people trying to rediscover arcane magic was what essentially led to like the entire druid versus non druid thing even happening. Chrome yeah. will be summon Betty. <laughs> <laughs> um. I imagine like we you've all made an, you've yeah. made an enemy today, sir. <laughs> I imagine what? Like we all reach the village Joking. right now, right? Uh, yes. Just Probably. a uh, just a quick thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, you guys see a note on the road. Okay. The hell? Okay, oh. no one's going for it, so I will. <laughs> that Chrome will all pick right. up the letter. Uh, it's a drawing. It's a it's a perfectly drawn image of Rai. Oh, I show it's it to it. Rai. Oh, do I recognize the drawing? Uh, d uh, d let me uh, let me DM you real quick. Oh. Okay. Secret, secret. Whoever drew this secret, is really secret. good at drawing. Whoever drew this is really good at drawing. It's just like a wanted damage, but different. <laughs> it, it's no. wanted and druidic. No, it's like if 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 this person, if you see this person, give them hugs. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's cute. If you see this person, give them your love and affection. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's just an image of Zen on. It's just like if you find this person, give him Apple give him a hug. No, oh, uh, uh, give him a. Uh, I give him a hug slash stab. <laughs> give him a hug slash punch in the face. It's like it says hug, but spin the score out. Stab. Zinu <laughs> uh, will look at the it's picture. Zinu will look at the picture. Huh? To be honest, it's not that bad. I mean, it's, uh, it's decent, yeah. Uh, okay, so the image. Mm. Uh, it has. Uh, it has the words. I'm watching you in big red letters. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. That's not alright. That's Don't not normal. It is like right. Oh. I don't think that's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. Protective bubble. Like everyone just gets all around <laughs> right. I'm going to oh. my son. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what this is. Maybe but, it's an assassin. <laughs> you know when like you know when like uh Get down, Mr. President. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking everyone just starts circling Rye and just scuttling along. Making no, sure that... Just out her sword. It's like, if they, anyone comes after him, they're getting stabbed. <laughs> I've known uh, Rye for three... I've known so... Rye for an hour now. But if anything were to happen to him, I'd kill everyone in this room and then myself. Uh, does Silk, like, try and look around for anyone that might have done this? Yes. Uh, what do I roll? Perception. Chrome will also do the same thing. I don't know if Chrome has the control to limit his aura, uh, but said... he would direct it at someone if they did this. Why said it's okay, <laughs> so Zinon lost interest. 
<laughs> Wait, can Chrome roll insight instead of perception for something? I'm trying to figure out if this was meant to be threatening. Oh, it... No, you don't even have to. Uh, it's, uh... It's absolutely menacing. It has, like, proper horror movie, like, font on the... <laughs> That's what I... I it's just... It, just, on, like, it seems like... It seems like these people might not know what... Uh, might not know the difference. Because... <laughs> Because Rai is very innocent, so it might be like, it, they're just being like, we're waiting for you to come, we're watching you come in. And it's like, no. Nah. <laughs> no, this is, this. On the perception. Mm -hmm. Uh, 17? What does that say? 17. Uh, Jim, 17 for uh, Silk. <laughs> Is the uh -oh, have we is lost? The, yeah, I think we lost him. Uh oh. He's been sent in. Do you want? Do you want to change the music because we lost the jam? Uh, snake. Oh. Snake. Snake. Uh. Oh, is he back? Hello? I keep disconnecting. I keep oh, disconnecting. Okay. okay. Uh, did you hear anything that I said? No. no. Nope. Okay. So silk, you uh. To, to you, uh, see something on the right side of you, uh, move a little bit, and then, then something, like, something big and fast moves over and hits this tree. Uh, and then when you look back over here, uh, on your right, uh, it's gone. Whatever was there was gone. Uh. Chrome will look in that direction. <laughs> Chrome... Can Chrome try to throw a throw a ninja star at, as discreetly as possible at that tree? All right. At which tree? The tr uh, did Silk point out the tree? I'd uh, say so. Oh, you mean the tree on the left? Yeah. Uh, sure. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to. I'm gonna make this very clear. I would be going for like the lower region. So, it, at worst, I'd hit them in, like, the thigh or something. So, Alright, go ahead. Let me see so pigs up on a rock and throw, throw rolls it. Ah, shit. <laughs> Let me check the rolls. Eh, Fuck, I whiff that. It's not the wolves. Uh, yeah. Uh, you still hit the tree. Uh, it's a tree. It's a tree. It's a tree? Men menace, menace, menace. How far would you say Chrome's Kieran aura goes? Uh, we Chrome said 20 feet. Throwing a rock at a tree. 20 feet. We discussed this. Mm. No, Chrome, Chrome wouldn't risk it. Mm. Guys, I'll, uh, be, I'll be honest. It's really weird that you tried to attack this tree for no reason. Well, something was there, so it's going to be like, if it's still there, please. I wonder what right. it could be. Do you want to go investigate? So just throw a rock at it, just to be like, if there's anything there. Can you should Chrome... probably go check it out. There could be something there. Can okay. Chrome look in that gen? You know what? You will question. take. It will take too long. Can Zoom. Chrome look Zoom in that just... general? Zoom just. Can Chrome? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, Zoom uh... just enter the uh, tree. Like, we'll search around the tree. What do you see? Uh, d what, d uh, what's around the tree? Like, uh, he, he would go, he would go through, like, he would search for whatever this creature is. Uh, what, d what you see, uh, when looking at the tree, is there's an arrow stuck in it, and a, and a, uh, ninja star from, uh, d from Chrome. Chrome will see the, the arrow, arrow, and look in the opposite direction. The arrow is a note attached. Oh, I will, uh, what is, what is the note? Is I will remove the arrow and we'll take it out. Guys, I think we have an infant. It's either it's either we have someone trying to kill Rai or Rai has a stalker. No, there is uh, this word that I want to investigation. Yes, and he will open the note. What what the note say? The note explodes on your face. <laughs> Paper bomb. <laughs> no, a gun uh, comes. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Yes. Uh, What's on the note is, what is uh, it? what's on the note uh -oh, is, I can't uh, hear you guys. Mm. Oh. 
This car uh, is doing hey, stuff. Yeah, do I can't that. hear you guys for some reason. That, yeah. Oh, That's wait, no, nope, it's back. Okay, oh, okay. Oh, oh. okay it's yeah. back. Sorry. Tell me what this is not. Um, what was uh, it? So... Okay, uh, I'm sorry. What what did you say, Lupa? She was asking what, is, what was in the note. Yeah, what's the note say? I've like cut out just uh, to about to explain it. Oh no, it's just it's just a random uh jumble of gibberish. Uh like like it it's laid out like a word search, but uh looking around you can't find any words that could possibly like be there. Guys, guys, hey, well, well, we need to decipher it, this chiffon. It's probably in Druidic and it's awry. Or Damn, maybe it? it's a secret message. Damn, uh, I... Right, I take a look Damn. at it. it yeah, I take a look at. Nope, no druidic secret message here. I don't think. Mm. Oh yeah, Jane. What did I get with that nineteen? With that rock thrall? I uh, you hit the tree. You like yeah, didn't get scared from it. Uh, what was over there was the arrow. <laughs> Chrome, Chrome will look at how the arrow is put into the tree. Uh, Chrome is gonna have a full Sherlock moment in Zeus from how the how much force, how deep the arrow went in, and how how it's like uh how I forget, like try to predict the trajectory basically. Yeah. Yep. Uh, you can tell that whoever was standing, whoever uh fired it, was standing right here. Was there? Chrome, big, Chrome, big Chrome will look in that direction, and if anything just happens to be watching, roll a flat intimidation check. <laughs> Those are like fuck off. Yeah, we didn't enter right. the, the village yet, and we all we do all that stuff. Okay, good, good, good job. <laughs> Fucking uh, menace. Uh, uh, while you do that, Zunan will hand by uh, uh, the Shifwa or the secret code or whatever. Yeah, this is yours. It's not mine. So it's just getting her to town already. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. You actually succeed. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, d you hear, uh, you hear someone, like, uh, stumble out of a tree. Uh, they were hiding up higher in the branches than you thought. Um. D gotcha, uh, bitch. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. You see, an, you see an old, you see an old elf woman uh, appear. Uh, she is, she's laughing her butt off. <laughs> Do you mean? <laughs> Rai older also starts elf? laughing. Oh no, she's like, she's like old. She looks like an old human. Uh, that's Ooh. how old she is. Wow, <laughs> that's nuts. Crumb will look oh, I, over. I, I uh. Just a quick thing. Uh, how uh, how elves in this age is like? Imagine like the average human lifespan is around eighty years. The average elf lifespan is around like one twenty. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Chrome was looking oh. at her. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say this is silver. Yeah. yeah. Rye runs over. Silver. And like <laughs> runs over. And Does gives this a person hug? look like Chrome? Weirdly. No, not at all. Okay, good. <laughs> Let's say, because Xena was about to have some problems. Maybe. So just Katana, but like, she didn't even unsheath it. She had it in its hilt. Huh. Mm. And she's going to whack the person with it. But she's like, oh well, we, we, Ryan knows this person and just puts it back. <laughs> I'm surprised my thing worked. Hey, Ryan. Yeah. I How's it going? It's going great! I made friends! Look! He gestures Hello, to all the I'm friends. Hello, I'm friend. I see that. Now, who are I... you? I'm Chrome. I- that's- I, I'm sorry, that's not what I meant. Like- Like- Something- So- Like- Okay. I'm just standing here, and I'm getting a weird sense, like something's all around me. What is that? Mm. He is cursed! Shut yeah, up. Yeah, we don't know what it is yet, but... We were I'm a... You knew? I'm a tiefling. Alright, uh, where's the... Where's all, like, the, uh... Wait, 
is that you, Rai? Have you really gotten that much stronger? Uh, she looks over at you. Uh, d- it looks like she's able to tell that something druidic is going on in your general direction. Oh, uh, mine or, her, or his? Uh, Rai's. Oh! Like, the, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think so. I fought a couple monsters and I feel stronger, I guess? I guess all the training you were doing really worked out. Yeah. I hope. I'm glad it worked out. (laughs) Uh, So, uh, honestly, I didn't expect you guys to uh, to be here so soon. Uh, So, I would have set up something a bit more elaborate, but this was last minute. I saw... Uh, I saw you guys on the road, so I did something like this. That's okay. If you did something more elaborate, I think it would take around seven days to decipher the ship or something. <laughs> so yeah, yeah individually, just... individually, we're smart people. Together, we're not that bright. Talk about yourself. Yeah, uh, usually okay. people just usually Sorry. people go. Uh, Usually people go charging in after the arrow. You guys just stood around like... Uh, you guys just stood around like dumbasses and just sat there. Well... Yeah, that's what they I did I scared at. you out of a tree, so... Wait a minute. Who... Okay, just remind me. Who did take the arrow out of the tree? Moi! The smart yeah. one! Me! Also, you, <laughs> yeah, after waiting like an hour... Also, you fell out of a tree. I don't want to be judged by you. So it just reaches our hand. My name's Silk. Nice to meet you. Nice to j- nice to meet you too. Uh, j- and she like uh, you see that she's holding like a big monster hunting bow, uh, and uh, and she just drops that on the ground and just reaches over and uh, j- and shakes your hand. Yeah. So it just puts her katana down and does the same with her long sword. Yeah, Rai reaches over and picks up the bow, and it's like, it's like his, it's like as big as him. <laughs> it's pretty big. And he takes out his own bow, which is a lot smaller, and it's like, uh, Silver taught me, like, how to be a good archer, but I'm not strong enough to pull back her bow all the way. So I got this little one for now. Yeah, uh, to be fair, I... I think my bow is a special case. Uh, it's don't like don't think about that as like negative on yourself, uh, because uh, because I used to not be able to use it either. But now you can, and now you're super duper strong. Uh, not that much. Hmm. Rai like looks over at Xenon and is like, "Hey, hmm. we gotta impress my wanna... friends." I want to try it. So it just goes out. Right. Well, the glugs arrived. Right. Was never able to use masters. Uh, Katana. Uh, yeah, no, she tosses you the bow, uh, to Chrome. Like, go ahead. <laughs> Chrome tries to pull back the arrow. Uh, uh the roll shrink. Strength. Roll a strength check. Oh, let's Do see. Do I have proficiency with this? Because I have uh, proficiency with both. Uh, sure. Sick. Yeah, my message you something. Fourteen. Fourteen. I do it. It just takes a second. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. You can't use bow anymore. A Chrome steal it from you. He he's special at using bow now. What? Are you sure I can? That's a di- the difference. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah. I didn't. I didn't see. I got oh, a 14 so... to try to pull back the string. Uh, it, it it doesn't even like it doesn't even tug. Something's weird with this thing. Okay. Uh, roll an investigation check. <laughs> Rolls. If Chrome can't do this, he's about to get real mad. Technical. <laughs> 17. Uh, yeah, no, there's a latch on the string. Uh, <laughs> she, she pulled one over on you. She, uh, she, like, made it so you couldn't pull it. She, uh, yeah. Prom will look at her. She gives so, you, like, the, the biggest cat grin ever. So, it's pranks you enjoy. 
Seems like he caught me. Whatever gave you that intention? Can all of the druids in our party roll insight? <laughs> uh, why? Couldn't about to do something. A prank. No, it's not a druid. It's not going to roll. Inside? I'm Lupa and Nil need to make this check. Insight? Yep. Uh. Oh yeah, oh. you get it. Uh. I'll I'll wait till everyone else gets it until I can say yeah. this. Uh, and oh yeah, because... uh, sh if that was nailed, she got it. Uh, well, no, I these don't have modifiers yet. All of them have a positive. Oh god, the second one. There's the uh. <laughs> Second one's the guild arm. Mm. Uh, she, uh, yeah. She, uh, uh, From... she has a she has a plus uh, three modifier to that. Okay, then the guild arm doesn't get it. The second one got it. The thir the first one got it. Mm -hmm. Chrome releases his aura. <laughs> oh no! He, he yeah, released it, his thinking. It's twenty feet, so the rest of the people won't get it, but she will. Uh, she um, likes pranks, so here's a prank. Would uh, she also detects it. Which uh, is silver druid, a druid? Dang. That's the big question. Okay. Well, yeah. the, the, the reason people needed to make inside checks was so they can brace themselves. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the chrome uh, fully releases his aura. Yep, uh, she, she, uh, uh d silver rolled a 20. <laughs> so... She just shrugs it off like it's nothing. From will snap his fingers. Dang. Okay. Yes. <sighs> He'll suppress his aura again. So must a man. Looks like both... Go on, sorry. It looks like both. Uh, it, it looks like both Rye and Silver have about similar levels of like ability to, like, stop that from affecting. The Guildmarm jumped. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the Guildmarm is just completely startled. Uh, if she did like. If she rolled lower, I might have, uh, I might have done the, uh, I might have done the rot Shoot thing. Me. Mm -hmm. Uh, Nil was too far away to even be affected. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, Chrome will turn that back off, so no one else is affected. So, uh, I yeah, plan uh, to introduce yourself a lot. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, I'm Silver. I'm, I'm uh, not, I... I'm not, okay, I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to Chrome. Hmm? Okay. My name is Zenon Von Shadok. Nice to meet you. I did... Chrome did introduce himself. Did? I, I remember <laughs> only Silk introducing himself. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, he said, my name's Chrome, and she ignored me. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she did. Yeah, and... Uh, yeah, uh, she, like, sidles on past uh, Silk and the Guild Marm, and, like, uh, like, she shakes your hand. D well, hi there, Xenon. Nice to meet you. Chrome fully doesn't like this I person. I will. I will do one thing. If oh, uh, you roll something. Or... Okay. Uh, sure. Go ahead. Roll something if you want. I want to like use my power to give her a strong handshake. You know. Oh, like one of those zappy hand buzzer handshakes. All right. You know, like, oh, Chrome when you could have done that. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> uh, don't play with the real trickster. Seventeen. Wait, can I? I'm about to ask if you can do that, but you probably not. Not, not zap. It's more like you know when when you try to. Uh, um... Oh, try to crush someone's yeah, hand. Yeah, yeah, crush someone's hand. Yeah, that's the main idea. Oh, I, <laughs> I guess she would also roll a strength. Yeah. Like usually, when try someone tries to one, you crush your them. hand, yeah. That's okay. If she yep. was the one, you hear a crack. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Uh, she, like I said, she's not strong. Um. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh. You you hear cracking. Um. Oh. Sh oh it, no. It, it I... doesn't sound like it. It doesn't sound like broken bone, but it looks like you just popped all of her joints simultaneously. Ah. Oh, okay. Chrome. Um. Chrome will walk over to her. I'm Chrome. And yeah. go for a handshake as well. Alright. Uh, she, uh, she turns around and, like, uh, 
she puts her hand out for a handshake and then uh, roll dexterity. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, she's playing the wrong person. Come with one dexterous boy. Hmm. That's what oh. I'm talking about. Yes, it was not lucky at all. Natural 20, and I doubled whatever she got. <laughs> yep. Uh, she, uh, d d she tried to do the too slow thing. Uh, where oh, yeah. Chrome Shred Joy buzzes her. Ah, uh, like she flails her hand and uh, into, into and like that. Ah, that's cool. Where'd you learn that? Yes. <laughs> she gives you like a knowing smile. I feel like these people. I feel like the the Chrome and this person have come to an understanding <laughs> that they will prank each other till the end of this earth. <laughs> Uh, Zina will look at Twy. So, um, are we going to the town, like, are we walking through it, or do you want us to go to, uh, her house or something? Uh, Again. I should... Yeah. Hmm? Yeah, uh, Silver speaks up and is like, oh, wait, before you guys go, uh, d both, uh, shift, d I, I, I just realized out of character, I don't know how to pronounce the names. Uh, Rai's fathers, uh, <laughs> are, uh, are uh currently don't know that you guys are uh currently don't know that you're home they were expecting uh they were expecting like you to be back in like a day or two so why don't you go surprise them oh good idea <laughs> yeah uh, uh gm did you get my message I'll just look to silver and just like have you seen a man with a uh, punch to the long sword Uh, just a second. Uh, I I read that message and I I accept that as a challenge. Uh, mm -hmm. Good. Um, I, I think Silk asked uh, Silver something. Hey. Uh, no, you don't. No, you don't, Chrome. Oh. It's a match. Hi. I feel like we yes. both pity. I feel like we both do it to each other. <laughs> yeah, you both pat each other on the back, and then everyone else sees you both have take me signs on each other. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Good for you guys. Ooh, what what happens when someone kicks Chrome? Uh, no, just looks I at mean, them angry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, everyone would just look at them like, but why? Uh, anyway. <laughs> Yeah, Silk was asking at a silver if she's seen a man with a, a long sword. Uh, are you talking about are you talking about a, a certain man with one arm? Yes, he's my master. Yeah, he uh he sent me a letter just the other day. Uh, uh, did, yeah, no, he's uh he's gonna be arriving tomorrow-ish. Oh, is that so good? <laughs> I was like, yes, I've seen him in years. Like, I'd love to talk to him again. Zinn and Lilith? I'm strong, I've got him. Just like she cracks on up, I want to spar with him. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Well, all right. It, uh, I'll just leave you guys to your de own devices. And she just, like, hops off into the bushes and vanishes. <laughs> Chrome is gonna be on his guard this whole rest of this bitch. Uh, right. What was that? Look, went back to a camera to hold hands. Ah, uh, Rai's like looking down into the forest with like a big dumb grin on his face. Isn't she the coolest? So, so yeah, she's she's different from Susan at least. Yeah, I was close she's to break so cool. all her fingers. I don't know. I don't know if she's one of my favorite people or my least favorite people. Yeah, she gets that with lots of people. Okay, let's come now. I, I want to go. Ah, I'm excited. Okay. <laughs> Looks like maybe you should just go see your dads on your own. Um, Do you guys want to come with me or? I would come. Oh, yeah. It would be a shame if we didn't introduce ourselves, I guess. Chrome, when all of the rest of the people have got to the front, will 
hold Nil's hand as they walk. Mm-hmm. Uh, where is turn- uh, the oh, wait, house? No, of course, you turned off your aura. Okay. Yeah, oh, I yeah, don't... I turned off my aura, dude. Where is uh, okay. uh, the house? Um, uh, It's up at the bakery and the tailor, right? Uh, no, Rye has, uh, Rye has a house. Um, yes. Yeah. But uh, both uh, Chiffon and Millet are uh, or are both working up at Don't You Know and The Winding Thread. Oh, Don't You Know. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are these, yeah? Are these cities called the shop Don't You Know? <laughs> are, they are, they, are they really in Minnesota? <laughs> no. I mean... I don't know. Uh, I I was originally trying to give it like a I was originally trying to give silver a southern accent, but it kind of became a Minnesotan one. So I meant sure. I meant her father's because their fucking thing is called Don Chono. No, <laughs> no, it's a pun because do, because that's the bakery. Don't do you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I just I just read it. Don't okay. I mean, I, I do yeah. like. <laughs> okay. But I. Are this, burning hmm. up. Okay. Are they serious oh. by calling this shop, don't you know? But it, it feels cheap, you know? <laughs> I mean, I like it. But, it again, you know. it's not bad. I think it's, funny. it's not bad, but yeah. Uh, right. You actually know the history of why it's called that. Mm-hmm. It's called that because, uh,. Ah, oh, crap, I forgot which Cause one. Because it's which... a dad joke. <laughs> uh, do I, do, do, uh, which one is crap? I think okay, it's that. So, he is... Do you want me to resend those messages so you get them, like, No, I got it. The bottom? Uh, okay. So, Chiffon, uh, was, Chiffon is particularly fond of puns and jokes and stuff. Uh, and they named each other's stores. So, uh... <laughs> That's cute. Uh, Chiffon... <laughs> Yeah, Chiffon uh, named uh, named the bakery with a pun, and uh, and Millet was named the uh, named the tailors uh, something actually kind of uh, kind of cool. Something more. Yo, your dad yeah. are the best. <laughs> yeah, they're so cool. Okay, now you guys have to meet them. And he pops in the door. That's... Is there anybody in here? Uh, yeah, sitting at the chair is, uh, is, uh, I, Chiffon, I think, is the tailor. Crap. I, yeah, Chiffon. Uh-huh. It's okay. I, I have so much trouble remembering all these names. It's okay. It's okay. I'll help. The challenges okay. of DMing. Yes. Yes. Especially Run, when you in. don't have icons and all you have are numbers. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. I wonder, no, there's not a way to do that. I, <laughs> yeah. Rye runs in. D- d- yeah, uh, he's currently uh, he's currently like uh, d- he's currently just sitting there uh, like staring off into space. Uh, he he doesn't seem to realize d- that you're here. Dad. He just uh, d- he <laughs> like jumps up out of like his daydream. Is like, hey, Rye, you're here! Yay! He runs around and gives him a big hug. And d- oh! Yeah, he returns the hug. I can't be- I'm back! Yay! Yay, a functioning family! <laughs> Yay! A functioning Did you miss me? Uh, I'm sorry I didn't catch that. Uh, oh, d- did you miss off. me? Yeah, uh, well, I mean, I, I was going to say no, but yeah, no, I have. <laughs> It's it's weird not having you around. At least, yeah. I mean, I'm used to like you leaving for a couple days at a time, but like when it's when it's close to a month, it feels weird. Yeah, I I missed you too, like a lot. He gives you another hug. Yeah. 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 I'm just happy to be back, at least for a little while. Well, I'm. Well, enjoy your stay, I guess. Uh, by the way, how have things been going over, uh, I, I heard that you became an actual monster hunter. How's that been treating you? Where's Applecore? Oh, he's probably outside. 
Ryo's probably attempted to bring several small monsters into the into the uh, shops, and that has not gone well. So, uh, Chiffon does not... is not a small monster. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Chiffon is usually doesn't care, uh, but uh, but Millet really really does not like that. Yeah, he knows just to leave Alphacore outside for now. Uh, yeah, I'm a I'm a real monster hunter now. I've actually hunted some monsters. It is really fun. That's cool. Uh, I, that's really cool. Uh, so, like, what have you done? Um, we went out and we got that big, like, firebird. Remember the one that, like, spit up fire on everything? Oh, it, like, uh, the Koropeko? Yeah, and it, like, it actually kind of hurt Xenon a bit, but he's fine. He's strong. Hello, you I'm Xenon. You know that it's not the same monster. Uh, yeah. That is not the same monster. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I'm so bad with the monster names. Yeah, it's uh, the other one that it's the other one that Chrome rode and kicked the yeah. soul out of Xenon. Wasn't oh, was this? The, yeah, the uh, Kaku. Kaku. Yeah, in Kaku. Yeah, in yeah Kaku. the Kaku. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the yeah, Kaku. Yeah, uh, yeah. Xenon will. Hello, I'm Xenon. I'm the one who's been kicked. Ooh! Uh... That? Huh. Neat? Nice to meet you. Uh, he puts his hand out and shakes it. Nice to meet you, Xenon. Yep. Xenon Van Shadok. And he will give uh, space to other guys to introduce themselves. Yeah, these are all the friends I made when I was... You know, hunting monsters and stuff. They're like my, uh, my group. Is that what you call it? Like a Yeah, party? we call it gang. That's um, like a bad connotation. No. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> for, 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 a second, for a second, I didn't want to, uh, like, <laughs> trick to lie, but I was smart enough. Okay, fair. Hi, I'm Selk. Nice to meet you. Uh, he looks... Are you- wait, uh, just a second. Uh, to, are- uh, are you currently wearing your badge? Uh, Doug is, yes. To, uh, he points at it and like, ooh, town guard! Yeah. Uh, I'm- I kind of play that role around here, except I'm more volunteer. Uh, but yeah. This place seems- does seem lovely, though. Yeah. The leaves haven't changed color yet, so it'll be a lot prettier when that happens, but it's nice in all the other seasons, too. Oh, yeah. Uh, it, it gets real nice here in winter, actually. Uh, everything just goes sort of quiet, and it's it's just real nice. Something just dawned on me. Is Chrome the party leader? Yeah, I thought we said mm. Silk was. Mm, okay. Um... I imagine they all consider themselves the party leader, but... No, Chrome doesn't consider himself the party leader. He considers Silk we... the party leader. I think we said Silk was... You know what? Uh, the Legend... Guild Horn considers Xenon the party leader. Oh, shit. Uh, she told you guys that. You know what? Let's make it fun, okay? Everyone message the DM who, who do you think the party leader is. Right now, okay. why not? Hell yeah. <laughs> uh... Let me just... Uh, the, uh, Akame and Nil and the guild mom give their own votes as well. Yeah, for, uh, the GM, uh, choose their voice, uh, their votes, so. Well, I mean, it's pretty obvious for Akame and Nil, and I just said the guild mom, so. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So, we have, uh, we all know we have one vote for Chrome, one vote for Silk, and one vote for Xenon. You know what? Okay. Let's... Yeah. Okay. Fun. Which honestly, okay. Xenon isn't the worst choice. Yeah, he's let me, smart. Let me tally the votes. Uh, <laughs> into it real quick. To, uh, so far, uh, two votes for Xenon. Mm -hmm. uh, to, to, uh, te or technically two votes for Xenon. One actual vote for Xenon. Technically one vote for Chrome. Uh, to, uh, to, to, and two votes for Silk uh, from the. Uh, from the actual party and from uh and from everyone else it would be it would be 
Okay. Okay. Uh, crap. That sucks. Um, yeah. Th so uh, it's mainly uh, it's mainly Lupa's uh, vote that's throwing me. Uh, throwing oh, me for I'm a loop sorry. I don't know how to count that. Uh, Just say first or second, and uh, and then we can. It's a. I mean, we can think about it later. I'm just. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's we could just say it's a democracy. Who cares? Nah, yeah, fair. we vote. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, either way, Silk gets three votes and outvotes ev and outdoes everything. So. Okay, fair. Yeah. I feel mm -hmm. like Chrome is either. Chrome and Rye are the worst decisions, I think. Mm. Uh, no one voted Rye. Oh shit! No. Which is. Rye is too much of a baby, and we don't want to Shame. put that pressure on him. Yeah, he has, he makes bad decisions sometimes. That's okay. Yeah, Chrome fine. decisions just don't make sense. They're not bad. They just don't make sense. Mm. Like we're lucky we haven't gone to like a big, big city with people who actually like try to rob people. Okay, like, uh, guys, can we stuff can stuff. we go back to oh, the role yep, playing? Yep. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Sorry. It's okay. All right. Yeah. yeah, these are my friends. Yeah, uh, nice to meet you all. Uh, if you, if you, well, as you can probably tell from the sign out front, uh, he he points to the wall. Uh, but you can you can probably guess that there's a sign on the other side of the wall. Mm. Uh, <laughs> this is a tailory. Um, if you ever if you ever want uh, like any. I'll I'll fix up your clothes or do anything for you if you need it. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, do you have some uh, material? I, I want some uh, colored uh, cotton, like um, uh, piece uh, of colored what? A uh, piece of cloth with colors. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Uh, like what color? One crimson and one. Uh, let's see, greenish, I guess. All right. Uh, he just heads him. To, he like uh, to, uh, uh, like uh, slides past Rye. Uh, goes back here. Are, are there just back. like clothes? Are there just like clothes out? Uh, no. Uh, he makes every he makes everything to tailor. Like, oh, okay. Then from yeah, yeah. No. So so basically, like the back room is just like. Never mind. Yeah, uh, Chrome was about to get uh, clothes tailored for himself for the fucking yeah. festival tomorrow, so it could fit in. Yeah. yeah uh, the, the entire like shelf over here is just colorful cloth, and back here is like even more colorful cloth, and mm. all of that. Um, and, the, and so like he hands over like uh, he shows Xenon like a pretty nice red color and a pretty nice green color. Yeah. Zion will put uh, 15 gold, and he will take, uh, like, let's say half a meter for, from, for each. Let's say. Alright. Mm. Uh, he, uh, he takes the 15 gold and, and, uh, dip and, uh, hands over the cloth. Good, good. Yeah, he's really good at his job. He made, uh, my outfit. He sort of spins around and gives his, like... Yeah, leaf cloak that, yeah, aid. that that makes sense because it suits you too well. I'll be honest. Yeah, you can't really get like the custom-made clothes in the big city, can you? Uh, uh, you can. can. They're just not good. You can. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's well, you can. It's just everyone is competing for price. Mm -hmm. uh, so like they cut costs at every at every corner. Yeah. 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 D here, uh, to. To, like in the real world, if you go to like a small town place, uh, where usually you'll to, usually vendors uh, only like to, usually vendors uh, tend to uh, tend to like make stuff because they're passionate about it, and so you tend to get a bit more quality. Yes. Yeah. So instead of like buying like ten T-shirts that are gonna like rip in the next month or two, you get like one good work outfit that's gonna last for like. Uh, Chrome yeah. yeah. is probably wearing the clothes that stand out the most, because I feel like in this town people wear black but not white. Mm -hmm. Now white white cloth is actually the easiest cloth to make. So I meant I meant people wearing it. 
because these these seem like autumn colors, and black can be an autumn color. White is not usually associated with autumn. Hmm. Eh. Yeah. Do, I I don't. Do, I mean, they get a lot of travelers around this time, so it's not that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but Chrome is looking. Chrome is look. Chrome is thinking about something because. He'll, he'll look at Nil and be like, do you know how to braid hair? Uh, a little bit. I I know how to braid rope. I, I, I hope it's similar. Chrome is thinking, he doesn't know. Ooh, that's a good question. In Rise art, does he have a braid or does he just have a ponytail? Nil has a braid in her art. I think... Uh, I don't know. Oh, I feel I like Lai is. It, I think Lai is the fi like, type of guy who will put a ponytail, even if it is a short one. Yeah, uh, Lupa, he's got a ponytail. Uh, just, a, just a thing. Uh, you might want to put uh, Rai's picture in Hunter Sheets. Mm. Oh, uh, yep. Just so That's we have quick idea. access to it. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah, while you do that, um, Xenon. Oh, by the Chrome way, will look you... at. Mm -hmm. Go for it. Chrome will look at Xenon then. He might. He'll look at Xenon. Do you know how to? He'll he'll look at Xenon. Do you know how to braid hair? I never tied it once. Uh, maybe I, I know. Maybe I don't. And he, and he for a second think a little bit. I um you know what? No, I I I did braid some hair like a long time ago. But it's not perfect, but it's good enough. You know. Okay. Uh, I think Silver might know how to braid hair. She, she knows does. a lot of things. Chrome will look at that. She's the one who taught you how to braid your hair. Maybe. <laughs> Chrome's thinking just about it. Doug just looks at um, Chrome while he's asking everyone. He's just, just like pointing at herself. He doesn't even no. look at you. He's so used to yeah, you no, not having braided hair, he doesn't think you can do it. <laughs> Fry looks between the two. Uh, I think Silk can braid hair. I think. He looks at her. What? Looks like I've done mine before. I've also done the Kami's. Yeah. Oh, I thought uh, it was a Kami doing that to you. <laughs> oh, okay. Do you mm. think you could braid my hair? Because it's been getting in the way recently. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'll give it a shot. Cool. Maybe not right now, though, because we're in the middle no, of my dad's I know, shop, I know. and it's kind yeah, of like... <laughs> it was more of just a question. Yeah, by the way, uh, uh, you didn't tell us your name. Oh. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm Chiffon. Uh, I... yeah. Huh. Okay. Good. Zeno will take oh, you oh, and leave. And, uh, uh, wait, he... he, he Okay, he says, wait! What, uh, wait, what? Uh, so, uh, there's a festival coming up pretty soon. I, I'm sure Rai told you about it. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, uh, if you want any fa fancy festival clothes, I can probably, like, modify some of yours and, um, and like, make it look nice. I'll be honest, um, most, most of the festival time I will be in the kitchen. I want to open a shop right here, you know, an extension for my old man's. So who will run it? Me. How will be leaving soon? So it's just like for the whole festival, you're not gonna uh, maybe. Oh, for the festival. Yes, maybe I will just From... take uh, the 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 morning half of the festival, then at night I will just have fun, some, some fun. Mm. So it's like, yeah, I haven't, like, you can't just work the whole festival. You have to have some fun. It's going to connect back. Oh, there it goes. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah but Sorry, Chrome will look at this opportunity. Because he was thinking about it, but he didn't know how to ask. Mm -hmm. But now that he's offered, it'll be like, uh, yeah, that'd be great. Um, mm -hmm. my, I feel like my clothes are the most out of place. Um, if you wouldn't mind... All right. Uh, what do you want it to be? 
he wanted to be um, uh, a type of orange that complements his uh, brown skin. Uh, his all right. And uh, yeah, he says, "All right, I can do that." Uh, any special requests? Um, mm. um, I'm trying to think of that word like you're seeing uh, Japanese festivals. What people wear? Chrome will look at his uh, hope headband and be like, uh, "Can you also make it so it can match with this?" Oh, I, yeah, no, I can add highlights and stuff to it. Around, the, like, the seams and stuff. Yeah. Thank you. D and, uh, wait, do you know your measurements by chance? Or do you want me to... Chrome just gives him his measurements. All right. That's the first time in a while that's actually worked. Uh, and he just, uh, and he just walks, uh, he starts walking back and then realizes, oh, wait, does anyone else, like, have anything they want? Yeah, sounds like a... Can you make all of your cat up? Uh, unusual request, but I've, but I, uh, at least I know what that is. I, I think I can, yeah. So, can you make one for me and one for, she points out, can I make? Sure. It'll take a day or so, but yeah. <laughs> Chrome will, <laughs> Chrome will give him their measurements. <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest, it's so creepy that you know. Yeah. It's literally just it's 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 borderline just like. I cut out. I cut out. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. Okay. Um, well, it's I, I cut out at uh, at Kanku saying Chrome will give uh, him their measurements. Yeah. And his response was, uh, and his response was, "Wow, that's pretty handy to have." And so it's just like, oh, it has to, um, she, like, turns around and shows off her wings and tail. Ah! Mm. I think I can do that. Yeah. Uh, he, he's, like, writing all of it down. Sorry if that's too, she's kind of like, sorry if that's too much or stuff. Uh, too much. No, you're Ooh. fine. Here's a question that I haven't asked in a while. How, what direction is Chrome's hair pointing? Uh, it is still pointing east, but, uh, now, like, southeast. Like, okay. Like, east-southeast. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Uh, is that all the clothes requests we have? Yes? Mm -hmm. We're yes. good? Uh, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Uh, again, uh, I didn't, uh, I didn't try take any, uh, uh, like, didn't ask for anything, so. Mm. Yeah. Uh, wait, uh, just a second. Uh, I take a Rome will... So, just a second, out of character, I, I forgot something. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. so, uh, so the whole thing on what we discussed, did it happen, like, was the note, uh, in the, uh, was the note in the, in the Guild Marm's tent? Ah, uh, Yes. Okay, so yeah, I, I can plan according to that. All also, right. also Chrome will accidentally, big quotation marks, drop something. I, I don't want anyone else to notice it, if that makes any sense. Mm. Like slide of hand, roll slide of hand, just to make that. It, just... it doesn't matter what it is. It's, he's just trying to drop something very stealthily. Okay. Hmm. I guess. It will make Kinda sense in a second. Okay. We'll make sense in a second. Mm. Okay. 20. I think that beats everyone's passive perception. Yeah. And Zeno is not even here, there, so, yeah. Okay. All right. As... Uh, PM me yeah. what you do with. Uh, no, I'm not doing what, anything special. Uh, he's, he's just dropping some... It, it will make sense as soon as everyone leaves. Okay. Ah. Yeah, but... So, if... yeah. Uh, so, are we going to meet your other dad? Yep. He runs up oh. and gives, um... Gives Chiffon one last hug, and then... Runs out the door. Yeah, he, he waves... He waves goodbye and is like, 
well, uh, I guess we'll see you later. Yeah, yeah as, bye. As everyone's outside the door, Chrome will, Chrome will be like, oh, I dropped something after everyone's left and mm -hmm. walk back in. And uh, he will uh, ask, he will pick up what he dropped uh -huh. and he will, he will go, I'm sorry, one more request. And yep. he's going to get it? something for nil. Ooh. He's going to, he's going to order a, seeing what she likes to wear. Order something similar in these autumn colors. So, pretty much. All right. Yeah, I, I think I can do that. Cool. And okay. again, gives the measurements. How do you do that? Like, I usually takes like a solid minute or two for for I me to do it. I can literally just look at someone and tell you most about them. Huh. That'd be useful to have around. If you're ever yeah. looking for work, feel free to feel free to like stop by here. I could I could use that. Okay. Chrome Chrome will leave. Freaking stupid! I drop. Freaking stupid! I drop my glasses. They will look at you like what? Chrome needs reading glasses. Is that side's kind of shit? Wow. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Rai's gonna leave Applecore right there because he knows mm. that. Yep. And Zoom then... is, oh, I... is interesting. Oh my god. So, yeah. I, I forgot to label one of the buildings. Just a second. Uh, take it ah. down. Zinum is so interested in this shop. Yep. It's a baker's shop. Pops in. Mm. Xenon was yep, uh, right behind you. Mm -hmm. Xenon behind... Chrome behind that. Because if there's something that Chrome likes, it's food. Mm, food is pretty good. Huh, doesn't this remind you of home? Then the... So, yeah. Things like Amiya. Uh, and so Bakers. Yeah, uh, fun thing. This is actually like a full-on, like, proper bakery glass, uh, like countertop Ooh. with a whole bunch of like cakes and stuff inside mm. Mm. chrome was about to put his hands on the glass and realize how weird and gross that is <laughs> so he does not Ry like bursts in dad i'm back hey i was wondering where all these new people to, that uh came in my store were yeah are these, these are my friends, friends. uh-huh he runs around and Gives him a hug. I, uh, he hugs I, that. Made, I made friends. Look. They're yeah. so cool. Um, oh. yeah, um, I hope they are. Zenon Van Chadak. A baker on the box. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Uh, what's your <laughs> name? Call yourself a bad kind of bard. A baker and a bard. A cooker on a bard. Uh, I thought you... I was oh. thinking, that, that should be your fucking tagline. Yeah. <laughs> you know what, why not? A bad kind of bard. And, uh... He hears Baker and a bard. <laughs> yeah. Either way. Yeah. Uh, huh. Zinon uh, will give him a handshake and, uh... And what's your name again? Uh, my name is Millet. Millet. Do you have sweets here? I'm Chrome, I'm a stone called Mason. He he looks over at you and like raises an eyebrow. Yeah, same with Zoom. Like, <laughs> okay. He heard the funny name and wanted to try it for himself. <laughs> and seeing the reaction, he's like, hey, "It was stupid." <laughs> I'm a, I'm Silk. I'm a town guard. Ah, uh, yeah, no. Uh, you gotta keep my husband's like that. Uh, he's. He's sort of like one of those for here. Yeah. Nice to Is meet you all. Point? Uh, uh, are, he looks over at Rai, are these all your hunter friends? Yeah, we're like a, a group, like a party. We already okay. went on a couple of ventures. 
but you know that that reassures me things. quite a lot because when you said you wanted to become a monster hunter, I thought I thought you meant like a solo hunter. Oh. No, Wait a minute, I solo hunter, solo hunter do that. doesn't exist, because they mostly die. <laughs> so good that he thinks, it's like, mm, it's like, you're kind of, you're kind of right and you're kind of wrong. Okay, let, let Matt talk about the old ones. The old ones are a different kind of <laughs> stupid. <laughs> it's just like, hey, don't call, don't call Master Susan it's stupid. Xenon? Uh, yes. to, or to, uh, on Azame, yeah. uh, just a quick thing. Out of character, remember that. Remember what one of the uh, characters important to your backstory is. Oh, they man. sure are that. <laughs> oh. An old Shit, type of stupid. Right. Oh. <laughs> Wait, is, no. is, 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 is that character alone? Like doing it alone, completely? Uh, they have uh, like. You know that they have like help, uh, like traveling and whatever. They do uh, the hunts alone. Uh huh. I like that. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry okay, about now that. I'm sorry. curious. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah. anyway Z Zeno will say. Yeah. By the way, do you have any sweets in your shop? Do I have any sweets? Uh, so can Chrome like... both perk up at the sound of sweets. <laughs> and Cami also yeah. does. I know something like sweets. <laughs> Uh, he reaches under, uh, he reaches into, like, uh, the shelf behind him, uh, and he, like, pulls out a drawer and pulls out, you know, like, those old grandma cam candies? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, he hands, he hands over a couple of those. Crumble uh, eat the butterscotch immediately. Sorry, <laughs> uh, maybe I wasn't uh, clear. I mean, I mean I'm, say, I'm say asking about sweet, I'm talking about cake, you know, ba baked goods. Ah, he points down at the uh, he points down at the glass countertop where you can see through and see a whole bunch uh, of cakes. He will yeah, take Chrome has been standing in front of a cake <laughs> and looking at it, but not again, not touching the glass because he's not a barbarian. Uh, That's to anyone watching this. <laughs> real quick, Zinon will uh, order a cake for like he will see anyone what he, what they want and they, he will order one for each. But for him, he Chrome will order... Will, uh, sorry, 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 Chrome will look at him with tears in his eyes, like, You do care! <laughs> Just <laughs> sh let me walk! And he will uh, order three times type of cake for him, and uh, whatever baked, baked goods, like uh, bread or uh, uh, croissant or something like that. What's a peking, a peking, a peking nut tower? Mm. How much you know uh, gold do you think? I, I would lose for all that. <laughs> look at, uh, look at a whole ass key lime pie. <laughs> uh, I'd say this is Monster Hunter with a hyper inflated like uh, yep, yep, economy. Yep, yep. <laughs> uh, so like, so like this would probably set you back like ten. Okay, I don't mind. Okay, uh, look at my my real goal by doing all that. I want to taste the type of bakes they make, I want to, like, trying to learn See, how to make better cake by eating their good cakes, you know? Is, is right. Xenon the type of person to stick their whole finger in a pie to test it? No, he will eat it completely, he need to finish the pie to understand okay, it. Okay, I, <laughs> I thought you were about to, like, stick your finger in Chrome's key lime pie. Oh, no, no, he, he ordered three for himself just to, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, That's how good the banking is, it's a 14. Yeah, because we were about to have a fight. Uh, sorry, <laughs> I, I, sorry uh, before that. Do I need to roll to understand the taste or understand how they're made? Uh, if you want to if, if you want to discern how they're made, yeah. If you want to discern, like, uh, what kinds of flavors are in it, uh, like, what no, kind of mate. mixture of... I want to know how stuff. they're made. Yeah, if you want to know how they're made, yeah, that would... Definitely take a roll. Uh, insight? Uh, sure. Okay. You're rolling insight against the cakes themselves. Uh, let's you know. Say DC, <laughs> let's say DC 17, because that's a hard thing to do. Oh, hell, hell yeah. Yeah. Oh, um, fuck, I'm sorry. 
if he just uh, tried to play. Can he have proficiency because he's uh has cooking utensils? Oh! If you add, if he can add proficiency, then he gets a plus two to that. And yeah, I'm, that's oh, fair. No, I, I, I don't know because because it's no, a new no, kind. You... Okay, here's the thing. It's a new kind of uh, thing that Zeron um, is not used to cook. You know. It, so you I could get half proficiency, which would still get you up there. Okay, well, I will. I will give it to you. It, now that I think about it. I, the only reason why I'm even letting him do this is because he has proficiency in cooking. So, yeah. I yeah. think that already uses it up. I think that normal people could not bite into a cake and be like, ah, yes, this was cooked for three hours at 350 <laughs> degrees. Wine <laughs> tasters would disagree. Yeah. But that's yeah, because but they have proficiency. That's experienced yeah. wine tasters, though. Uh -huh. uh, okay, yeah, uh, wine tasting BS. Yeah, BS. Yeah. Like, it's there's a research about this. I know this because my mom was one of those wine taster ladies, and even she admitted that it was almost complete bullshit. Could. Anyway, yeah. um, do I need to roll, uh, do I, like, do I succeed or fail? Uh, I, I, I didn't hear you, what? Did I succeed? Uh, you do not succeed. Okay, cool. Zenon, right, uh, Zenon finishes. But it is a pretty darn good cake. Yep, yeah, it yep, is yep. a pretty darn good pie. Okay, Zenon. I imagined, I imagined you were just about to figure this out, and it's like, eh, I don't care. Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah. Zenon. Zion finished all his uh, food and he and he uh, closed his eyes, trying to know, trying to, to understand the cake. Yeah. And he, and he will just say, "Yeah, they are good, goddamn good cakes." <laughs> and he start laughing a little, and that's it. Like holding I his mean... car in her hand, her tail and wings are just flapping, and her tail is just going back and forth. Like crazy. Chrome, if you want to like, learn how to make these, I mean, you could just come in the kitchen when we have to make more food. Chrome is about to take a bite out of this pie and sees Nail looking at it, and we'll give her some. Get out. Okay. Uh, yeah, she she takes some. Uh, she leaves you with like more than half though. Mm. Oh, I meant he straight up just gave her. A, he just like straight up started feeding her. <laughs> nah, nah. She takes like, she takes like a third of it and gives you the rest. Sick. Um, sorry, Mister Malt. Are you okay with that? I mean, um, it's with it's all well, well, all done. I'm. I was trying to steal your recipe. Is that okay with you to try to teach me how to make cakes? I mean, no need to steal my recipe. I. I can teach you. Zeno will jump and hey, lie, get out. Oh, uh, yeah. Do you have Do you have any cooking experience? <laughs> do I Do I have any cooking experience? <laughs> he made a bomb out of a food. Uh oh, you're talking about nitro shrooms. Yeah, no, that's. Wait, you you cook with nitro shrooms? Yes, I mean, I eat. Yeah. You cook some for me. Yeah, he has. Uh, he looks around. He, he looks at Rye. Actually, he's like, "You better not be eating nitro shrooms." Oh no, I'm not. I'm not. I think that those I would blow them. me up. He I eats eat them. them. Yeah, uh, but the man I is in I'm uh, almost, his I'm taste. Immune. Yeah, his taste bud is busted completely. So, uh, you know. Hey. You know it's the truth. What do I want, want me to say? I can tell this pie is delicious. Good. Uh, um, yeah. Uh, well, like, let's say that's happened in the background. Like, uh, Mills tried to teach Zeno how to make better uh, bakes. Bakes good, so. Chrome looking around. Your mom and dad were here. Maybe you should learn yeah, more stuff. Uh, Where's the why, don't roll, why don't you roll into uh, why don't you roll intelligence uh, real quick uh, just to see how quickly you can pick up on it uh, Xenon. Uh, the guild marm is currently uh, now the guild marm is currently outside having a massive like deja vu flashback sort of situation like I swear I've been here what is going on 
Uh-oh. But uh, mm. like, otherwise, she's fine. I love it. She seems fine. She's just sort of like, she's just sort of like looking around a bit confused. So, mm. Sug's just sharing her food with a cameo. Like, she's allowing her to have a bite, and then Sug has a bite. Get mm. in here, lady. They got pies. Uh, all right. Uh, J- J- Applecore, uh, hearing that, walks in, just struts right in. Uh, uh, I, Chrome, Chrome <laughs> was going to try to stop him, and food like, uh, no. So, uh, sorry, right. So, uh, uh, Doug's tail, and, uh, they're going crazy. Uh, sorry. Uh, uh, I didn't hear that. I'm sorry. I, I interrupted you. Chrome was about to, st- and Chrome was about to stop Applecore, and he was just like, mm, no. <laughs> Applecore just uh, run through your legs. Yeah. Um. D- so, uh, Millet just looks over, d- just d- sees sees a big fluffy uh, velociprey, just walk right in, and and just sort of sit down on the floor and, and just like, what? Mm. Oh, that's Applecore. Don't. He's uh, he's a, he's a good boy. Chrome will look at Rai and give him the signals like I can cover for you if you need me to. He like shakes his head back. Uh, you mean, no, you, I don't. Do, yeah. Uh, do you mean yes or no? No. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. I sort of picked up a pet while I was in uh, in Charles' grave. No, uh, I, can, me. I can keep. Keep it outside if you want it to. I know you don't really like monsters that much. Yeah, keep it outside, preferably. Uh, that one seems well-behaved enough that I don't think it caused that much of a problem, like, for Either. actually trying to get into the food, but... Don't uh, let them lie to you, Mr. Mr. Males. Don't let them lie to you. He's not a good boy. He tried to attack me multiple times. He's a dangerous to Chrome. all of us. Chrome, no. Chrome will look at, Chrome will look at uh, Applecore. I hope. And he'll do, like, the whole, like, sit motion. They've been over this. It's just to prove that Applecore is a good boy. And Xenon is wrong. Uh, you have not taught him, uh, to, like... No, it's not teach. Uh, it's just to piss well, off Xenon. Well, uh, like, I feel have, like he uh, understands that. You do, like, all the hand motions you would for a dog, even though, like, you haven't taught him half of the tricks, like, play dead, roll over, do all that sort of stuff. Uh, he does them all. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you didn't need wow. to teach him how to piss off Xenon. Yeah, Xenon will look at you all. Every time, you disappoint me even further. Each <laughs> time, each time Apple Quarter the trick, he'll hand him a, a like a piece of like a chunk of meat, pretty much, like, like a well, like a like a training dog. Maybe we shouldn't huh. do this inside the house. Good boy. Yeah. Probably you probably shouldn't. Uh, Rye, take it. Take just like. Yep, I, yep, I, guess, I got like, it. Tie him to the well. I guess would be a good place for him. You never tie a dog outside. Uh, How dare you? Uh, he's pretty well trained. He can just like. Eh. Applecore has technically not bitten anyone who didn't deserve it. Well, Xenon got bit. Xenon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, well, you know, <laughs> you know Xenon's hard at it. Uh, no, he bit Xenon uh, upon their first interaction when Xenon tried to give him a fish. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah he did. Mm-hmm. Never mind. Xenon and the light of course is evil. Uh, Sorry, yeah, Xenon. Uh, That's my he's stupidity. Like, yeah, it's good. Gonna temporarily just sort of. He's probably got, like, a little leash. He's gonna, like, wrap it around, like, the little, like, well thing. Like, the... There's probably a little cover over the well that's being held up by, like, like, wooden things. Yeah, I feel like both Rai and Xeno and uh, Applecore both know that Applecore can easily bite through this, but they... (laughs) But Applecore will not. Oh, no, yeah. It's not tied to the, Mm. uh... To the... (laughs) <laughs> it's just wrapped it's just, around. Yeah, it's just wrapped around. If Apple Four like, wants to, he can just pull it sorry, away. Sorry, uh, I think Silk wants to say something. Oh yeah, of course. Anyone, yeah. Sorry. If anyone's looking at Silk, she's basically just doing that whole couple thing where 
one person takes a bite and the other person takes a bite. <laughs> Meanwhile, Chrome and Nell are eating their own pies. And if you look close, like, her tail and wings are going, like, they're flapping and uh, her tail is going up and down, like, shaking side to side, like a dog. I like the thing that Chrome and Nell look at what Silk and Akame are doing, and it's like, that's weird. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, that's, weird. that's not what couples do. <laughs> oh, crap, I, I forgot. Yeah. It's more of like, is that what couples do? <laughs> Should we be doing that? Uh... Yeah. Uh, by the way, like, how does, uh, like, uh, take, taking on a shop, like, work? Do I need to go to someone, talk to someone? For the festival, I mean. Uh, um, I, I just PM'd uh, Nobu real quick. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, basically, Zeno right. asks, like, how can he get uh, a stall for the festival tomorrow to, you know, promote the old hunters? Uh, um, yeah. You might want to talk to the councilman for that. Where does I where do I find him the council man? Um or woman. Um or woman. Southwestern uh southwesternmost building. Oh yeah, is it, is it his house? Uh, the abandoned house? The abandoned house or yep. it, his name is Carnelian. Or uh, Carnelian. Yeah. Okay. Carnelian. Yeah, uh, I can bring you to his house later and um cool. we can talk to him then. Yeah. I think I have to do, like, an official, like, report back to him, so you can just come along in Good that idea. and ask. Yep, yep. So, uh, does anyone want to see in here, or that, that's it? Because I think we lost a lot, like, we spent a lot of time just uh, goofing along. I want to oh, get yeah, to the festival. Sorry. <laughs> the oh, festival... no, the festival. the festival's next session. Oh, okay, okay, okay. This okay. is the, this is like the introduction, getting, getting to know everyone, then, then, uh, next week Ac is the, uh, Actually, the I have to go. Oh. oh. Darn. Actually, I might be back, I have to see. It's okay. It's okay, uh, we're gonna record this, so you can probably just mm. listen to it on, yeah, when yeah, you get back. Yeah, I'm, I'm, well, back. if you're going, what, uh, what do you want Chrome to do in the meantime? Chill with Nil, I guess. The right. soul. Cause they don't they don't know the most about each other, so they're I just want them to talk. They can sit on these All benches right. over here. Hell yeah. yeah Have so, like a little romantic Oh yeah, thing. like a little a little chat in the park. That that's adorable. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I'll I have to, I will find out in five minutes whether I need to be back or not. Cool. Uh, okay. Right. Then we can take like five minutes uh, bathroom break, maybe. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Yeah, I'll be. Bye. Uh, I don't think I can stop the recording. I mean, I can stop the recording and start the game. Yeah, uh, well, you can just let it go, and we'll talk about like character mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah, cool. We can just go. If I, if, yeah. uh, if there's a lot of uh, stupid shit, I will just cut it out in post. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway. All right. Uh, Oh my god, this this village is nice, but I think we to take a, lo a lot of time just, like... Exploring it? Maybe. I yeah, yeah uh, I might have written a bit too many NPCs for this, um, <laughs> but yeah. It's okay. There's only uh, a couple. Uh, no, I have, uh, if you'll take a look in the, uh, in the character symbols chat, uh, yep. there is, there's, there's 11. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. I mean, there's the, the sickest one number five. One of them isn't there yet because he's coming tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yep. yes. Awesome. Uh, but, okay, uh, Riftak, is Silver Fox a uh, reference to Metal Gear? Nope, I don't know what that is. Okay. <laughs> That's yeah, just... No. A silver yeah, fox uh, also, is like an actual real life animal. Yeah, I know. I know. Like, also, I know. Uh -huh. also, silver fox also means attractive old man. So yes. Huh? Are you sure about well, that? She, she's an attractive older woman. So 
Yeah. Uh, it's best, th that's that's the first time I heard that silver fox mean attractive old man. That's a new to me, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, it's slang. Yeah. So like, uh, so like, uh, uh, what is his name? His uh, the second JoJo. Uh, in uh, uh Jizim. the second. Uh, Joseph. What? I didn't hear you. Joseph, Joseph Josta. Yeah. yeah, so old Joseph. Old Joseph would be a silver fox. Yeah. So this is a silver fox from Metal Gear. No, Grandpa. Jo not Joseph from Part 4, Joseph. But part 3, Joseph. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. It's part a four. cyborg ninja dude. <laughs> that part is pretty cool. Four, it's just old man. Uh, yeah. yeah. Part three is like old Indiana Jones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he is my favorite character in that part. Yeah. He was flying a plane and crashed and survived. I think like the final number for his crashes is six. six. <laughs> yeah. Which is really, really fucking great. Yep. Uh, yeah, I, I want more time with the Silver Fox. Uh, I want, I want mo uh, to do more goofy shit with her, but uh, we'll come back to her later, I guess. Yeah. Oh crap! Uh, there was a there was like a planned prank thing that we were going to do with uh, Silver. I, I need to look and see if that's actually a uh, if I could actually do that now. It's okay. Ooh. So, are we gonna start it back up soon, or um, do you have to, uh, to do something? Just a I, minute, I, do, oh, I, yeah. I'm looking for something, and then I need to go use the restroom, and then I'll be yeah. right back. Yeah, All right. If, uh, when the GM come back from the restroom and Chrome didn't come back, we will just continue. All yeah, right. If you guys don't mind, of course. Yeah. Of if you've watched my Final Fantasy streams, oh, like my World well, Seven, we've referenced Metal Gear a lot. <laughs> Oh my God. Unfortunately, I don't know very much about either of those videos. Yes, they are video games. Only nerds yeah. play video games. How dare you call me a nerd? <laughs> uh, I, the only video games I play are like Minecraft and Destiny. Oh, Destiny Warriors or? Uh, Destiny the. Oh, the shooting, yeah. 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 Um, I have an hour. Have hmm? I have an hour. I have an hour? hour to go. Okay. Oh, yeah. another hour to be here? Cool. Yep. Uh, about. Awesome. Yeah, okay. Just wait for the GM and we can continue. Yep. Ooh. They, they weren't doing it as much, but now they are. They're really running me ragged. Um, what? I mean, I mean, if you... If you are busy, like, just go for it, dude. I mean, you have the card. Yeah. No, no, before I had the day shift, now I have the night shift. Ah, shame. Uh, yeah. I mean, if you have to go, that's totally fine. It's all going to mm. be recorded on YouTube, yeah. so it's not like you're going to miss anything. anything yeah. I don't mind missing anything. I just don't... I just don't want to, like... You just want to go to work, huh? I have I have an hour before I even need to leave. Okay. It's, okay. Uh, I'm back. Yeah. Uh, apparently, my sister's making food, and I'm not sure if I can eat while GMing. Um. <laughs> that was uh, far enough. I think you can because we'll we'll do stupid shit. So. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. we can do like some intrapersonal character things, yep. and you won't have to play any NPCs. Yeah, well, that's but... fair. If you wanna. Yeah. That's fair. I could also just wait. It's not like we're going to be taken until, like, midnight again. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I mean, maybe. Although yeah. it might be in for, like, a few yeah, hours. Yeah, but Nil, Nil and Chrome are still going to be talking. Okay. Yeah. All right. I, I imagine, like, Zeno finished uh, his teach, uh, cooking lesson, and he will... Okay, that's uh, a really great information. Hmm. Hey, uh, Silk, Akame, do you want to come with us, or are, we, are you staying here? Don't say uh, I, I, Akame just sort of looks over and is like, uh, I mean, I'm fine with staying here if you want to. 
Okay. All right. Uh, keep my dad company. Don't. Mm -hmm. Don't. Yeah, just be safe. If people ask about you, say you're you're with me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Bye. So again, I actually have like a little. I actually have like a little scene planned between Silk and Nakame. Uh, in, uh, to, go for it. Just go like on. a little bit. So. Hey, well, no, first? like. I mean, if if all right, if, right now I. I wasn't expecting right now, but if it's right no, now, then all right. Fine, if everyone's do their own thing first. Okay. Okay. Um. All uh, right. Are we gonna go down to the council person's house? Yeah, let's go. Uh, go, mom. Are you gonna come with us, or are you gonna stay here? It might not be I'm, a good idea for you to come see the. Uh, Carmelian. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna go check out the inn and see if that's good. And okay. See if, like. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Be s be safe. Don't. Uh, yeah. Uh, mind if I take apple core with me? Yeah, take apple core. Yeah. All right. Uh, Applecore just immediately obeys her. Hmm. Sort of like. Then... Applecore just such a good boy. <laughs> it's a good boy. He likes everyone but Zenon. He is not that. It's not that he doesn't. It's not that he hates Zenon. It's just that Zenon doesn't respect him. Yeah, it's I like get no, that. No pet respect to Zenon. No right. pet, no respect. That's how it is, Zenon. <laughs> Zion doesn't respect the police. Do you want him to respect the monster? Come on, man. <laughs> uh, it's this way. <laughs> oh, this way. Okay. But Apple yep. Corps is no, on a higher it. status than the police. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the sound of the police. <laughs> sound of the police. But as you guys are walking down that road, uh, you see Starch's flower shop. Uh, it's the, uh, which is like a little florist uh, thing. Uh, and across, uh, you see the meeting hall and a gigantic clock tower that does not seem to fit with the town whatsoever. It's like a big, a very big, like, gothic-style, like, clock tower in the middle of town. Church. So, why, why there is a clock tower in the middle of the town? Why like... is there a clock tower in the middle of the town? I don't know that, but Rye probably does. Riddle me this. Uh, it, it actually was, uh, it, they actually, uh, Ambergrove used to, uh, Ambergrove used to be, like, a, uh, a little fort thing. Uh, and then, after a while, uh, people came back, reused all the, like, uh, it used to be, like, a fort area and uh where like oh where like military stuff was around uh then after all that stuff ended people were like oh there's crap tons of building materials there and they all just went there scrapped it down and then and then built everything out of all of that uh yeah. and and a lot of the stuff they had was stone that they did that they decided to use into like a big town project. So they build like so they built like this big stone tower that originally was a bell tower, but then later got converted into, into a clock tower. Cool. So uh yeah. what did, okay. Huh, okay. I I guess when you have too much stone and iron you don't know you don't know what to do with it. Just make a clock tower. It's not I mean it's not bad. It's kinda cool, but you know yeah, I wasn't really there when they made it, so I didn't really have a say in it. Yeah, that was something like uh, something like forty years ago. So it's I mean, old. Do you have say right now at anything in this town? Yeah, no, not really. So. Yeah, it will not change anything, my dude. <laughs> he uh, he not he doesn't he doesn't go inside. Oh yeah, uh, Zinon the door. the door and come in. No, like Rai grabs you and like pulls you back and like no no. And he knocks on the door. Okay. Uh, you hear a very, very muffled come in. Um, he comes in. Can, okay. 
Uh, sir, uh, do you do you want us uh, to sit down? Uh, you hear a you hear a slightly less muffled. Uh, sure, I'll be there in a minute. Okay. Okay. Zoom will take a chair. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, uh, huh? How? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Zeno will no, wait. Yeah. All right. How strong uh, does this guy look? <laughs> uh, not very. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, he yeah, said, "I'll take some out an instant." <laughs> Clock. He he looks over at Rai, then looks over at Xenon. It's so like, ha. Huh. I thought when you said we, you were just like, ha. Huh. What? You didn't yeah. like my it's face not... or something? No, uh, I'm I'm sorry, sir. I brought some friends from out of town. Uh, Xenon here wanted to ask if he could set up a uh, stall for the festival. Uh, oh, runs, uh, yeah, no. A food uh, stall. I'm. I'm not necessarily the one that's in charge of all that. Um, honestly, uh, honestly, it really depends on who on whose land you're setting one up on. Uh, so, like, just ask for permission for whoever owns like whatever area you're planning on setting up a stall. I mean, can't you like ask them yourself? You are the man, right? Uh, uh sorry. Uh, 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 like that. Very quick. Very quick. Sorry. I think it's Chrome. Chrome, can you mute when you are not talking? I, I hear the voice of Slippering or something. I hear voices from your end, I think. I know. Ex- yeah, can, can you, like, mute? I know mute? exactly what that is. Yeah, can you mute for a sec while you are you not my... talking? Sorry. Yeah, sorry. My girlfriend decided it's cool to have pet frogs. So yeah. Oh! Oh, that, that, that makes sense! He <laughs> gets who's in my womb, bro. Yeah. That's why I'm here. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Frogs are pretty cool, though. Yeah. Okay. If they uh, ever start acting up, though, to mute them, it sounds remiss, a little weird. Oh, we, we should have pet lizards. Um, it's like, we have a cat. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, again, Zeno, like, can't you talk to them yourself? You are the man, right? I'm, and I'm uh, new at town. Maybe I will start a fight with one of them, maybe. By accident, of I course. Don't- I, I guess I do serve the role as li- of like town mayor, also town librarian. Uh, the, he points over to his uh, he points over to his right. That over there is like my personal collection of books, but I let people just come in and like uh, like take them out if they want. Is there any forbidden so, books? Uh, he gives you a dead stare, and it's like he turns over to Rye. Does he know? Um, what, what I know. Oh, about the, the the druid stuff. Yeah. Yes, I I told all my friends before they came okay. here. Okay. I don't just judging by him. I don't think he is. Is he? Is oh, I he, what? He, A druid? No. He, he. All right. For you, yes, there are forbidden. Good. But, uh, not in there. Yeah, it's okay. I'm just curious, because even in Charles' grave, we have some forbidden books, too. I didn't have any right to, uh, to read them, so uh, I didn't care. Back to the subject. I wonder... I wonder who... I wonder who, uh... wonder what could be in those, uh, books over there. <laughs> Zina yeah. will, look, will look at it. Guess so, who's gonna find out? <laughs> Zina will look at it and uh, look at the mail, and he will say... Believe me, my man, you don't want to read it. Alright. Have you read that? Uh, no. Hmm. Judging by your reaction, I, I, I'm i assuming it's some bad stuff. Yeah, I did not, to be honest. Feel like, it feels like I bad feel like, stuff. I feel like Xenon tried to read a magic book once and never tried again. Read it? This is like someone said to her, the book starts speaking to him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Them out. What? Don't what worry. the hell? There I'm is no the pictures! <laughs> <laughs> it just says, long time ago. Well, he looking at the like, book, is like, oh yeah, I can't read. <laughs> the book just yeah. starts uh, being, like, oh, drops it. <laughs> it just throws it across the room. 
<laughs> well, in terms of he uh, he Come says on. well in terms of uh, in terms of like in terms of like if you want to set up a stall or something, uh, uh, like we should probably get back on track on that. Mm-hmm. If you want to set some up on my land, uh, he points he points like uh, he <coughs> points like out towards the front of the building where you where as you saw or as you came in you saw like a whole bunch of uh, stalls and stuff mm-hmm. and set up there yeah that's that's all like my land uh and so i i cool, how there. much uh, i honestly i huh not a lot of people actually pay for that. I just sort of like give them permission as long as they don't screw things up. So, it's then, on. he's going to screw things up. Then let, let, <laughs> let's make it like this. I will give you my cooking for free, and I can take the storm. Is that okay with you? All right. Uh, sure. Uh, do, he uh, do, he's like uh, you're. You know what? I I can probably, do, I can probably uh like, go out there and force them to, like, move their tents around so you, you have room. Cool, let's so, check on it. I will. Alright. Uh, d- so, d- he, uh, oh, you said let's, let's shake, shake on, on it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, uh, d- he, uh, he puts out his hand, shakes your hand. Shake, shake. Cool. Machine complete. Let's go. Machine complete. You just have oh, okay. I have to Talk I about. Talk. Hmm. Yeah. Um, Do you want me to I... stay and talk about other things, Mister uh, Carnelian, sir? Uh, d- what's with all the formality? Uh, d- you didn't used to. You didn't used to do all that. I'm what, are, what is the monster? <sighs> <sighs> all right. Um. D- yeah, I do. Uh, I do have a couple other things that I wanted to ask you about. Do Do I need but, to? Uh, uh, do I need to go or? Yeah, yeah, preferably. Okay. Zim look upset. I'd only be in Yeah, uh, Zim will look a little bit upset and he will wait outside. Alright. Are you gonna try to listen uh, in or are you gonna. I'll be honest, yes. Yeah. I will try to listen in. <laughs> Yo, it seems like it's deciding time, Rai. Yes. Who's uh, that? Where is Zim? Also, I got the frogs out of my room, so that noise shouldn't be happening anymore. Okay. Okay. Uh, what do I need to roll for listening in? Well, it depends on. Uh, it depends on. Uh, okay, you would roll perception, uh, but where is Xenon actually? Uh, I think he will be around. Around here, you know. <laughs> a, st- a strategic right. position, I can say. All right. Uh, perception, huh? Strategic. Okay. I guess this would be going up against his, uh, against his, like... It'd be his passive, because he's not actively looking for Xenon. Nineteen! Xenon disappears. (laughs) Smoke bomb! (laughs) No, not smoke bomb, just piv cell existence. Oh, is that supposed to be? Passive perception yeah. plus 12? Oh my god, I forgot. Okay, so I got the passive perception and the actual perception check confused. Mm-hmm. I was like, I was like, passive perception, that's 10 plus 2, so that's 12. Let's roll that. No, it's. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> passive is just 12. Yeah, just 12. Like, what the fuck? So you beat it. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Who okay. is this man? I was about to say, is his intelligence like crazy? Is his intelligence higher than Chrome's? Uh, I see I the walls. I see 20. the walls. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I actually made this character using Pathfinder stats. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh. Chrome, he, he had the intelligence. <laughs> he had the intelligence that, that he can see into the fifth dimension. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he has a thirty intelligence. <laughs> Uh, he sees both sorry. in and out of existence. I, I think I did something wrong. It's uh, not th- plus three, plus one. Sorry. Because oh, plus okay. four, oh. it's like above like college level. Okay. Uh, for like, Xenon. It's, it's above like, plus... I'm sorry. It's yeah. above like Harvard uh, Xenon... level. 
Xenon, you succeed. You you can yeah. you yeah. can overhear all of it. Uh, it's uh, it. it yeah, uh, you can okay. overhear all of it. Uh, his actual passive perception is 12. Uh, ignore um, the 31. Okay, cool. Oh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, yeah, just... You beat him, because, yeah, uh, it, it's just, 20 beats. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. So, uh, he... To, uh, maybe uh, switch the music to something a bit more serious. Oh, okay. That's oh, good. yes. That's me. It's about to get all real up in this bitch. Uh, uh oh. Do you have any specific track or just? Um. Oh, I think I might actually have something like that, but it's pretty far up in the. Uh, just I think I, I think I have some. I think I have some. Um, I also uh, sent a couple songs to the DMs. Okay, I have I have this one. I don't know if it is appropriate or not, but let's try. It. All right. All right, let's. That's all right. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a. Oh, Is it a no, little too? I, uh, I, I think I, yeah, it's too fast. Too much. Uh, uh, I uh, I have a good song suggestion. Uh, okay. Just a second. I I have it in my playlist. Okay, bring okay. it up, bring it up, I don't... <laughs> no, it's, it's not, it's too much. <laughs> yeah, it's too much. And this one would be... Uh... Unhideable Anxiety? Uh, yeah, I've... no, this one. It's, I feel like any music tense, from... Still... I feel I like any music from music... a Resident Evil game would work perfectly here. Maybe. <laughs> Oh, Resident Evil remake music probably wouldn't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like remake two. Because... Is that good? Uh, it's it's kind of tense, uh, but at the same time, it's not like overly dramatic. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, it's friendly, but morning is really nice. But then it's like, oh, this is really nice, and then it hits that bit where it's like, oh, that's fucking awesome. I got something. Mm -hmm. I got something that might work. Uh, this will be good for now. Yeah, just yeah. go with it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, so, uh, he sits down, looks looks at Ryan's like, Hey, so, about them knowing, did, did you tell them or did they figure it out? Um, I, I think a few of them figured it out, but what, before we came to the village, I told them, because I... It would be too hard to hide if they didn't know. But I, I trust all of them. They 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 won't tell anybody. Anybody That's... else. Alright. Um Did you did you find who I uh, sent you to look for? Um 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 Okay, out of character, I can't decide. Um, no, you can say a suggestion. <laughs> you can say yes that you found her. Just don't tell her that, like, that she's a part of any of this. Yeah. Um, like, who were you searching for anyway? Uh, the exact uh, wording I think that I sent Lupa a while back was, uh, it was, uh, he sent you to search for. A particular, uh, a particular woman who seemed to know a lot about magic. Um, oh, so I'll play the guard, Marm. Oh, then no. Well, there were lots of people in the Charles grave, and there were lots of smart people. Cause, uh, uh sorry, shh, the guild. <laughs> no, please, let the way talk. Thank you. Um, I'm not sure about magic. I don't, I don't think that there were any people who knew, like, real magic. I mean, only... He, he gives you yeah. a look. Uh, he's like, okay, uh, what I was referring to, uh, okay, when I said magic, I just meant magic in general. Uh, like, 
not specifically arcane, not specifically druidic, just something odd about her. Did you find her? Um, I mean, there were people who were kind of, it's a big city. There were lots of people. She worked, she worked with the guildmaster. She should have been easy to find. Silk. <laughs> um, I, why do you not want to know? I thought we went over this. I... I guess it has been a while. Um... The reason why I want to know is because... Depending on who she is, she might be a very important criminal. We... We need to figure out if she's actually, like... Actually who we think she is. Uh, whether or not she's, like... Whether or not she's this very specific, very bad person that I do not want to go into the details. Or, okay. um, if she if she isn't, then she'll we'll leave her alone. So, tell me the truth. Well, I did... I found someone, but she's really, really nice, and she didn't seem like there was anything weird about her. And... I mean, there's no, I was here with her for a while and nothing seemed out of place. She was really hmm. open with me, but I, I didn't find anything. You can see, what do you mean by, why, what do you mean by open with you? Oh, well, I stayed in her house and she was very nice and she like, she let me do all the things that I kind of wanted to do, and, like, she let me go out and hunt monsters, and I brought her with me one time. All right. And... So you stayed in her house? That means that it was the right one. What? Uh, do, I mean, we sent a, we sent a letter to her, uh, and judging based on, uh, do, or it was the one that we were suspecting, uh, doesn't prove anything. Uh, do... So you at least you at least found her, which is good. I found someone. I'm not. You're being sort of vague, and I don't know. I... <sighs> okay. I don't. I don't want to do something that's you... going to get an innocent person hurt or a nice person hurt. And I know. I know I'm... you wouldn't hurt a nice person, but I'm worried that. Well, I'm worried that one of you is right and the other person's wrong and that someone is going to be hurt. All right. I'll stop being vague with you. Do you... Do, you clearly have met this person. What do you know? What has she told you? To, the woman named Callie, I believe, was her. Um, she's nice. She's a, she's a good, a good, a good person, I think. Um, anything specific you want to know? There's, well, uh, we already know that she, uh, we already know that she has ties to the Druids. Anything she tell you about that? Um. She didn't seem surprised when I told her I was a druid. But Yeah. Makes makes sense. We were sending some to, we were sending someone to her. Of course she'd she'd have guessed. Mm -hmm. Uh anything specific? Like who she at did she say anything about what what type of druid she was? What she actually does? Anything about her specifically? Look, okay, I'll stop being vague. We do not know. Uh, she keeps, like, getting involved with stuff. We don't know where she comes from, what she is, who she is, or why she's doing any of it. Okay? I, okay. I, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I realize that I've been kind of rude by being so vague about everything. We don't know who she is, why she's here, 
or anything like that. And based on it, it would we would suspect uh, that because of uh, everything about her seems to be very similar to a certain criminal that disappeared a while back. And I just want answers. Um. Well, she was. I didn't really learn a lot about her personally. She was nice. She was very, um, she was nice to me and to her friends. And, um, everything, she, she didn't seem like a criminal. But I'm, I'm not good at telling if people are, are good or not. So maybe she was just being a good liar. I'm, I'm an easy person maybe. to lie to. Oh, uh, you said that you brought friends here. Uh, I, I did. But, uh, 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 this is a bit of a long shot, but is she one of them? Um. Ah, <laughs> uh. shoes, my son. Shoes. <laughs> That's that. Uh. The silence speaks volumes. <laughs> <laughs> he sort of he nods alright I mean if you talk uh, to her I know that you'll find out that she's very very nice and she wouldn't do anything to hurt anybody I... alright that's yeah, you don't need to reassure me of that I, I understand and I I get that uh, I to be perfectly honest if you want to be there when I talk with her that's fine yeah, I think I would like that a lot. All right. All I all I want to do is talk with her, ask her a couple questions. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, d and uh, d and after that, he stands up and walks away. Uh, roll an insight check. Okay, I'm very scared right now. Oh, okay. Are you a witch? <laughs> Yeah. yeah. The DM and me have screaming. The DM and me have talked about what will happen if things go sideways with this. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. The DM I... knows what will happen. It's his call if he if he makes that choice. Cuz Rai Rai does not want to have anybody huh. hurt by this. Okay. You, 17. Uh, he doesn't hide it very well. He he seems to know that you're not telling him the full truth. That you're trying to hide information to protect her. And he... And you can pretty much tell that the reason why he even asked that, uh, to even, like, wants to speak with her himself, is because he feels like he could get more out of her than you. Yeah, he'd probably be right about that. Yeah. Uh, Rai sort of stands up and walks outside. And he, like, he is shaking very badly. Yeah, it looked like it wasn't a nice conversation, huh? No. Runs mm. over and, like, sort of gives you, like, a half hug thing. Like, he's yeah. very, very, very scared that he made the wrong decision. Yeah, don't worry about it. We're all here. We will do something about it. By the way, Zero oh. doesn't even hide the fact that he listened in. Like he. Wait, were you listening? Yeah, I was listening. He backs up a little. What? Yeah. Why? Uh, the main reason is uh, it sounds fishy for me. I thought to myself, maybe I will know something that uh, I should know because say what you say what you say about it. The truth is that oh. you didn't tell us that you know about Nell and you know about a lot of stuff and at least personally you didn't tell me. It's kinda oh. sounds fishy for me. A druid who don't know about druid and another druid who come from another village. Eh, it sounds fishy. Yeah, I, I guess so. Uh, I... Hey. 
I okay. I don't like. Uh, how can I say it? I don't hold it against you or anything. Okay. So don't worry about it. And okay. if the if the thing got worse, I will bail you guys out of it. Don't worry even about it. Okay. He gives like a little smile and he nods. Okay. Thank you. And uh, just to make it clear, I don't think I can make make the. I don't think I can cook alone for uh, a long period of time, so I may need assistance. And here's oh. the and here's the problem. I am asking myself, who is someone who is good at baking, who is good at cooking, at the same level as me? Oh God, show me the light where I can find amazing an amazing person like that. <laughs> oh. I mean, if do you want you me to help? Yeah, if you just mind. Uh, yeah, of course. That sounds really fun. Cool. Thank you for. Thank you. Don't worry about it, man. We are brothers. Just forgive that. All right. All right. He seems to calm down a little bit more. Yeah. Hey, uh, Zin will real quick put his hand on your hair, ruffle your hair a little, and then keep walking into the stall. So now, where is my stall? <laughs> uh, oh, uh, no, uh, d the entire thing about that was, uh, d was, there's not a stall open. He's going to try and convince people to move their stalls around. Uh, yeah, okay. So, okay. so you can put up a stall. Okay, okay. Then uh, we should go to the guys. Oh. Yeah. From got a twenty floor, twenty four on flirting. <laughs> wow. Let's let's put a uh, let's put a resist flirting uh, <laughs> roll. Uh, should, should we go to the good man first and uh, tell her about the guy I want to talk to her, or we can tell her later? What do you think? Uh, I can go tell her now if you want to go and meet up with the others. She fails to resist flirting. <laughs> yep. Uh, did Silk and uh, Akame want to do a scene? Yeah. Yeah, uh, d d uh, yeah, just... Just a real quick one, uh, which would be uh, so. Silk and Akame are both sitting down at this table up here, and uh, and Akame actually starts the conversation uh, starts the conversation off by saying, "I, you know how I originally was kind of against you becoming a monster hunter." Okay, wait, wait, wait a minute, I have some. Uh, Nobu? Uh, yeah, I, them. I, I said yes. Uh, okay, um, well, I'm kind of starting to see it now. It, like, is honestly, as far as I can tell, based on everything that you guys have done while I'm around. Uh, monster hunting kind of just seems like guard work, but with less paperwork and more actually doing things. I, I kind of get it now. Yeah, so, we just this, yeah, it's more fun this way. You go out hunting monsters, you come back with stuff. Yeah. I'm gonna be perfectly honest, I... I originally thought maybe of joining you guys, but I, I, I'd be preferred if, or I'd prefer it if, like, I, I don't know. I, I like going out on hunts with you guys and everything. I don't think I'll do this full time at all. This just isn't yeah, my cup of tea. Was, I think it would worry too much if you were out in the field. Yeah. Like the whole Xenon getting his arm broke, or it even, even if it was, it's Xenon, it's it's fine. But if it was you, I would panic too much. I think you say just... that. 
You say that like, now, but you're but you were perfectly fine with to, uh, me essentially being uh, with me and you essentially tag teaming a uh, to, to a thieves guild out of business. Like, there's a lot of direct confrontation there. It's it doesn't really seem that much more dangerous. But but we weren't hunting. We weren't fighting monsters. We were fighting people. People could be a lot more dangerous than monsters. She holds up her gun lance. Like, these things are dangerous. Oh, very, yes. <laughs> Rye's dad just fucking ducks. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's he's used to people just coming. He's used to, like, travelers and whatever being pretty well armed. Yeah. There's, there's, back with the Zenon thing, if it was you and you went down, I would have just frozen up at that point. I wouldn't move. I wouldn't do anything. That's, I, that's kind of unnecessary, though. I, honestly, I, I don't think, if I was the one that was knocked down, I'd expect that you, of all people, would be the one fighting on the front line to try and get me back, you know? Like, eh. But yeah, but just the whole... Like it happening and then just freezing up, then realizing I better make sure she's okay. Yeah, but I, I'm, I'm pretty confident that you'd be able to protect me at least. Mm -hmm. I say that, and I mean, look at me. I'm, I'm the one with the shield. I should be the one protecting you. Yeah. She giggles at that. <laughs> She just, like, this is a... I always hmm. felt like being a hunter fed me, fed me more than being a guardsman. That's fair. I... It's just not quite my cup of tea. Mm -hmm. It's not... It's huh. not... It's... Yeah. Fair. I just, yeah. Uh, honestly, I I wouldn't mind. I I wouldn't mind you taking me along. I so like feel free to like bring me along or take me with or whatever. I, I like I like being with I like being with you while you work. Mm -hmm. Uh, but but if but you know I. I'm okay with it if you want to bring me along, just, you know, sparingly, mm -hmm. if that's fair. So I would have to ask the others as well. Yeah. I mean, they seem to, they seem to just start bringing along random people at the drop of a hat, so yeah. I don't think they'd mind. No. I'll be honest, it's mainly the, the, bro the brother and sister, the other people who bring more people. I mean, Rai and Zeno didn't break anyone, like, I think the only, <laughs> not Rai break up, of course, right? So yeah, Zeno is, is, uh, is innocent! <laughs> like, Zeno just brought, brings Clef. <laughs> no. He's too old. Yeah. Uh, d that's all I really had planned for this scene. This is a, like, a little... Uh, a little conversation about how Akame feels about the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, Clum, are you here or not? Clum, are you here? Kinko? Oh, he's not here. I think he's gone. Oh. Ah. Oh. Uh, why is it every time? Why is it every time someone joins? It's always at max volume. Every I'm time. I'm sorry, but. Chrome has brought home no one. He's gotten along with everyone. Yeah. Uh. Anyway. Uh. Do you have, do you want the scene? Ah. Uh, twelve go? for more. F twelve for more <laughs> flirting. Ugh. Dang. I I swear to God, if they didn't stop hand holding. Resist I will break the your arms. 
I swear to God, if they didn't stop hand holding, I will break the arm. Yes. She resists. She, she flirts resists. back. <laughs> yes, and now it's making Chrome blush. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so Kiko, do you, do you want any scene uh, with any of the old character or NPCs? Um... Chrome and Nil are just gonna keep talking, really. They're just... being a cute idiots. Hooray! The best kind of idiots. Hooray! <laughs> I'll be honest! Uh, okay, no, I will not say anything this time. We'll talk about that conversation. <laughs> to be honest, we'll talk about it. About it. Uh, we'll talk about it. Say it. Nah. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Say it. Nah. Someone's just standing there, fu like, fuming. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. They, they keep holding hands! How dare they! The film- <laughs> That's lewd! Uh, yeah. Fingers That's rock and roll. <laughs> Uh, okay. Yeah, but it, that's that's mainly that's mainly Chrome's evening. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, I, was, I think we'll drop, uh, Chrome we'll... will not attempt anything more than just talking. It is legitimately the first day they're dating. Huh. That's well, fair. Yeah, that's that's fair. I'd say not necessary. No, it, it would. It would be. Okay, yeah. That, that makes sense. The only lewd thing they're doing is hand-holding. Yes. I mean, unless we want to go full lewd. anime. <laughs> yeah, which is extremely lewd, by the way. Yeah. Are we, are, like, yes. are we going full anime? Because then, yes. No hand-holding until marriage. Uh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said it, I... You said it, I didn't... <laughs> on one knee. It's canon. Um, okay, if the guys that don't have anything uh, to do, I want to uh, visit Silver. All right, that's fine. Yeah, and um, uh, I can go with me or go to the good mom. He's free to do what you want. Uh, he's just gonna give you directions to her house, mm. which is behind that little pre-clearing, right? Yep. Uh, yeah. Oh, I gotta go. Sorry, y'all. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, bye-bye. Yeah, so do it. There's no more. Like, I, want, I want at least one scene for you before that. I'm but... gonna I'm gonna roll one more flirting check to see how this evening goes. And oh, then my I'll God. Head out. Nah, one. Nah. Hey, 24. Oh, nice. Because <laughs> that one. Resist. Was resist. Nope. Nope. Mm -hmm. In that yeah. case. Yep. Best two of three. The... You win. With the la yeah, with the last of my powers, Crumb will kiss, and that is how. See you later, space cadets. <laughs> Goodbye. And now Nil, is and now Nil is passed out on on a park bench. And now <laughs> Nil is pregnant. No. <laughs> if that's how, if that's how people get one of my, I remember. Where one of my friends once didn't understand the whole like girls being with each other, so he just he was just like, "Oh, if girls kiss, they get pregnant." <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> but no, no, because of my roommate was like, "Well, I kiss my girlfriend all the time. Why shouldn't she pregnant?" <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway. Oh my god! Um, uh, who were South Zenons or uh, Rise? Uh, see, uh, you go first. We just had Rise thing, so you should have yours. Fair. Zeno will, uh, tot tot tot. Come in. Come in, it is. Hello. Hey there. Um. I see, uh, I see why I gave you directions. Yeah, we, I more or less have, have this, uh, stall now for the festival. I kind of know how to cook, so, uh, you can, if you want, uh, you can visit it whenever you want. Did it's you just come here to advertise? Ah, uh, yeah, and uh, its name, the name is The Old Hunters, if you are interested. Oh. Hmm, he, she squints at you. Mm-hmm. 
What, dude? You don't you know, like the name? You know Cliff, don't you? What? Who is this Cliff? Is he that Cliff Anderson? I don't know him at all. Yeah, the, the, the really strong one with the bad back. Um, I never heard of him. The one with the million scars. The nice one. Yeah, the one that used to use a, a great sword, but later used a hammer. Yeah, the one who uh, liked to uh, adopt a lot of uh, makeshift children who are really uh, have a lot of troubles, I guess. The one that used to work with me and with me, Susano and Brig. Oh, okay. His name is Brig. I didn't know. I, I just know that he is a colossal. Or colo Goliath, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know him at all. <laughs> yeah, seems you don't. Yep. So, is there anything you, is there anything about him that you that you uh, want to not talk about? Yeah, of course. I I don't at all want to talk about his group when he was younger, I guess. When he was more. No. And don't I... bother sitting there. Uh, and she pats the she pats the seat next to her. Yeah, I would like to sit like a like. That's straight. the shelf. Oh, okay. That is that's a bookshelf. I thought this is a <laughs> uh, a chair too. He will sit here. Yeah, I don't want to sit on this chair to listen to his old, uh, but Hunter's stories at all. No, no, no. Yeah. All right. So, which one do you want to hear about? Any any ones in particular that you uh, want to hear a different perspective on? Yeah, just just tie up my ear, just make my ear tired. I'll be honest with you. Every time I ask him about stories, he just try to stay, uh, change the subject. It will not. It will be nice to listen. What about the one where? Uh, do, what about the one where him and I? Uh, do, him and I had a competition to see who could get, kill the most. Uh, to kill the most jaggy in a minute. In a minute? Okay, that's interesting. Go for it. I think uh, here we can... Was... Yeah, okay. I think here we can end the scene and we go with the other guys. My total was five. His was his was four. Uh, d although, he said that it was mostly because I had a range advantage. He is fast enough. It, it wouldn't have mattered. So... I, I still consider myself the victor in that one. Yeah, tell me about it. He listens to sometimes to report to the boss behind me. And, and sometimes, for some reason, see say something along the line, uh, um, something, something, kid, and he pushed me, like, like trying to push me or something. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, so th so he actually mastered that thing Susana was always trying to get him to learn. Huh. You guys are weird, do you know that? Yeah. You know what? Let's let make it like this. Uh, can you teach me something? Sure. What you want to learn? Uh, it's it's a little bit embarrassing, but I use hunting horns and uh, light uh, bowgun. Do you know how to use it? I'll be honest. I suck. I suck completely at it. So. Uh, good combo. Uh, let me let me think. I'm I'm more experienced with the heavy bow gun, but I, I I can show you a thing or two about the light one. Cool. I have a I have like a little I have an archery practice uh, tree out front, uh, so follow me. Uh, okay. He uh, or she just, like steps outside and points at the tree uh, points at the tree at the center of of like all the this uh, tree. This one. Where? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Then we'll go here. Like, r yep. Okay, so, oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> that, that's fair. That, that, that's fine. Yeah. Um, so, how do we start? Just shoot it. I guess I will too. Uh, if you want to, we can we can stop the scene here. Oh, I need to roll first. Uh, 
I, I just want to see your I just want to see your form. Uh, okay. yeah, uh, roll for it. Okay. Plus my dexterity, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Oh no! She starts laughing maniacally. Uh, she's uh, she's like, <laughs> yep, you take after clip, don't you? Hey, look, Never I get the ranged weapon. Uh, like, yeah, maybe. Uh, every time I want to show to show to show it for someone, I always they laugh. Oh, come on, man, that's not cool. Hey, uh, just just a quick heads up. You you do realize that you can shoot that that thing's fast enough that you can shoot it twice, right? Wait, what? Yeah, light bow guns are fast. Well, you, you I, can you can fire two shots at once if you try. Um, how? Just pull the trigger and hold it. Um, then we'll try to roll the trigger and hold it. Uh, two shots come out at once. Uh, do I, okay, so I need to roll for it again. Yes, yeah, uh, roll two more shots. Okay. Oh no! Oh no! You still have a second. You still have a second shot. What? You still have a second shot. So you roll again. Oh, okay. Well, for the yeah. two different shots. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. <sighs> okay. That's better. That's better. <laughs> okay. I, I yeah. think I, I think I start to get it. Like I need to. Like, okay, I need to make it study. Like, position my arm correctly, and then pull the trigger. <laughs> yeah, uh, just just a heads up. The the uh, kickback, uh, that first shot. Yeah, uh, the kickback's a bit rough when you do it like that. Uh, yeah, I'm still not used to it. Mm. Yeah. Uh, also, bad thing. Mm. Those things are kind of inaccurate, uh, so you can't really uh, shooting things from distance is a bit harder than normal. So, is like, is it a long range or high, like ah uh, mid range? Mid range. Mid range, like a yeah. Uh, if I if I were to like give you just a rough estimate about the like optimal uh, range, I'd say about like eighty to a hundred feet. Yeah. Uh, okay. Anything yeah. further than that's asking for trouble. Yeah, fair. Uh, I need to think in my position to battle. Great. What a band, yes. Before he will put the weapon down. He will look at him. Was. Was he happy back there, back then? Oh, hell yeah. We all were. Then why did you spread out? I'm not afraid to say it. Uh, the others might be. Brig did something a bit, a bit uncouth. He, he, uh, he may or may not have gotten all of us in trouble and sort of sabotaged our reputation for actually doing anything for quite a bit, for quite a while. What did you do? Eh. I'm gonna be perfectly honest. I... It's kind of uncomfortable. Uh, but... He sure did attack somebody. Like... Actually, hurt, like actually swung his weapon at him. That's why. Was, was he in, in frenzy or something? Nah. I'm pretty sure he's just unstable, but gave the rest of us a bad name for associating with him. Susanna's still sore about it. What do you think, my old man? 
stop being a hunter for this reason because I'll be honest with you the only reason I can't think mm. about for real is because of me Nah, the main reason he stopped being a hunter I'm pretty sure is because is because everyone else stopped you got, can't really can't really hunt on your own too effectively Especially not when you're used to it. So, I'm, I'm pretty sure you just got too used to fighting with us and couldn't do it alone. At least Z that's my guess. Zin, Zin will stop thinking about it. Or maybe he... I don't know. I feel like I stole his dream, and I feel bad about it until now. He said something Does he still again. Train? He still so no. He stopped playing at all. For some reason, huh. when he saved me when I was a child, I think he saw something on me, uh, in me. He stopped training and he stopped taking care of me. He learned to cook. Sell him uh, most of his prizes for money just because I do a lot of stupid shit. Eh. I I think he. I wouldn't think that he'd quit just because of that. Even if he didn't. Susana. Mm. Yeah. Susana was still. Uh, Susana still kept on uh, hunting even even as he took on an apprentice. So like. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Even though I still feel guilty about all of that, I feel like I can't. Uh, how can I say it? I can't bring it back. I can't give him what he gave me. It's like no, hmm? no one, no one, Cliff. C come on. Are you really saying that you need to repay Cliff? Is it Cliff we're talking about? He doesn't want to be repaid. It's not about him. It's about me. I forget it. And he will leave. He will just leave. He will say this. I feel guilty and he will just leave. Alright, come back anytime. Yeah. And that's it. Mm. Um, out of character, good job. That uh, was great. <laughs> thank you. Yep, great job. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah, good job. I, I, I literally did. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, guys, go for it. <laughs> um. Yeah. Rai's gonna go back to where the guild marm is at the inn. <laughs> And sort of walk inside. The uh, in lady, or in person, what's their name? Hey there, right? No, no, I gotta get out of the southern accent. Ah, oh. yeah, it's okay. <laughs> stuck. Hey there, right? How's it going? Um, is it the guild mom talking to me, or is it the innkeeper? Uh, it's it's the innkeeper. Uh, I need to. I just need to check um, her name real Mint? quick. Mint. Mint. Yeah. Uh, Mint. I'm pretty sure is a dude. Let me check. She might be. She might be a girl. Mint is a. No, Mint is a girl. Okay. Okay. Uh, hi. Uh, I'm doing okay. Sort of. I have to talk to the. The guild. Uh. He walks over to the guild marm and like, like sort of pats her on the side. We have to talk. All right, all right. We were we were just talking about uh, we were just talking about like uh, prices on the inn and stuff. There's we discussed it. There's not enough uh, rooms for all of you. So so if you so if uh, you guys are going to stay here for a little bit. You're gonna have to find some 
you're probably gonna have to like rent a room from someone else. I I don't know. Uh, someone can stay in my house. I'm not sure if Silver has. Yeah, I think Silver might be okay with keeping some someone at her house. Uh, I, I can ask her later. Um, wh which room are we going to? Uh, what do you mean? Uh, like out of character? What do you mean? Uh, Rai was gonna take the guild mom to a private or place to talk because I'm sure the random innkeeper does not want to hear about all of our, you know, secrets. <laughs> Uh, all of them were rented out. All of them were rented out by, uh, by her, so... Ah. Feel free to pick... D uh, Guildmom turns around. Yeah, uh... I... They were pretty cheap, and so I just... I just spent my own money on them. So. Oh! Wow! That's nice. Um... Yeah, also, apparently this place is, is okay with pets. Uh... Oh! Apparently, under policy, uh... A Velociprey is considered a dog. I, <laughs> I, I, I don't know why, but I mean, it works. Yeah, I guess so. He, like, he still looks kind of shaken, but he goes up and he, like, gives Applecore a big hug. And, like, stays there for a few seconds and seems a little bit, a little bit less shaky when he comes back out and sort of... Pat's apple core on the head. Uh, do you want to stay here, or do you want to go run around and... I don't know. Find a random squirrel to eat. I, the apple core does the equivalent of, like, a head tilt, like... Don't really... doesn't really matter. Okay. You can come into the room with us and... I guess... Sit on my lap. Do, uh, the innkeeper... Do, uh... Or Mint really uh, quickly is like, oh wait, except for the uh, except for the room on, uh, like all the way down the hall, uh, that one's mine. Yeah. So, but the door's locked anyway, so mm -hmm. I, I guess it doesn't really matter. Yep, he's gonna open the door to this room and kind of gesture for both of them to follow him. Yep. Uh, the guild arm sits in the chair. And. Apple Core, uh, Apple Core just sits on the floor in front of the door. Okay. Still right the floor to... in front of the huh? door. Okay. <laughs> Everyone get down and do the dinosaur. Ah, yes! Thank uh, you! <laughs> that makes sense, because Apple Core is actually a dinosaur. Dinosaur, yeah! <laughs> Go on, sorry. Mm hmm Um... Yeah, Rai sits down on the bed and is kind of, uh... Um... Should we change the music? This feels too happy. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but I need to change it's it to, like, a moment I go to, like... Okay, let me just check. Let me check, check, check something. I, I think if I have... If you want something really menacing, I have that. Uh, um, like... let me check um, my that... stuff. Okay. I don't think that menace is the... Alright. Oh, you okay, know, I don't have anything. I think okay. I might have something that I was imagining as sort of like Rise theme, if you want me to play that. Uh, sure, that'd be good. Okay, it's like a softer music. Is, is that, okay. uh, also, uh, also, I, I just want to point something out. I after I uh, after I figured out that a southern accent really suits sil or silver, uh, I'm this is so going to be your theme. Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> Hell yeah! I found. Uh, is that good? What's the music? I, I bet some. I bet something. Is that good? Um. Sure. Yeah. Uh, I'll just send what I imagined as Rise theme, just not as of something being played, but just mm. in the. Uh... Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Can we to just DM it to you. Yeah, DM, DM it to you. Yeah. Okay, so... I'll keep it in mind, maybe when he do a crit and it was cool. Yeah. Alright, that's it. Yeah. Uh... Um... Yeah, Rai sits down on the bed and kind of like... 
kind of taps, yeah, just taps his foot and is like, uh, I, sp I spoke with the council, uh, yeah, I've spoke with them, with, uh, Carnelian. He's the person yeah. who sent me after you. Yeah, and what about the, uh, uh, was he also the one that wrote the letter? I, I think I recognize that name. Yeah, I think so. Um, I don't, I don't know if I told them too much or if I, I don't know what. He he said something about how you might be a criminal, which I don't think you are. But. Uh, Uh, are you talking, GM? You cut out. Uh-oh. Uh, GM's oh. dead. Uh-oh. Got, got sent to the- Got sent to the Shadow Realm again. Yeah, I think- I think he made the home there. Like- Yep. Oh, are you back? Sorry, I keep cutting out. That's okay. Oh, that's fine. Uh, what'd you say? Uh, I said- Oh, oh no. Uh, she panics a little bit and is like, Oh no, uh, that probably means that he knows who I am then. Oh. Uh, D what do I have to do? Um. What did you tell him? I said that you were a nice person and that I didn't find out anything about you. Uh. You didn't. I told him you didn't do any magic or anything. And, um... That's not gonna fly. I'm... You know how, uh... You know how a lot of people can pretty much tell when, uh... When someone knows magic? Yeah? Yeah. Can you do that? Uh, can you do that? If, he, if, he's a, if he's, like, an actual spellcaster, I might be screwed. Um... I... Uh, I don't know if this is the right decision or not. I... I told him I brought that you're here. I just figured that's that, fair. Yeah, if if he comes up and he sees you, it's gonna be a hard time hiding it, and I don't want him to think that I lied more than I did. But he could tell that I was lying. I know that. All and right. I I think he wants to talk to you, but he said I could be there too. So if you need me to, like, do something, I don't want to, like, hmm. I don't want to do anything illegal. I don't want to, like, attack him or anything. He, he seems like he has the best intentions. But it also seems like you have those. So I, I guess I don't know. Maybe... I don't know. We... I'm trying to think. What could we do? Uh... Do you want to go back? I I mean, you can go back if you want to. It might be a little dangerous alone, but it's probably safer than than here. No. No, I'm I might. I might now that I think about it. But me running away isn't going to Me running away is just going to convince him that you were lying to protect me and then turns out whatever you whatever he's thinks is true, and then all that, and then that's going to incriminate myself. I, I don't want to. I, I want to try and... <sighs> see, see, the thing is, if, if he's talking about what I think he is, then, then I can't really... Then I can't really prove my innocence if it doesn't really exist. So, but I also don't want to, you know, have to do this again. She points at herself. Oh. Don't- don't do that. I don't want to. Uh... If... Does that mean- are you actually a- I don't know which one of you is right. Uh, if- If he- If he is right, then- Uh, if he's- I'm pretty sure he's telling the truth. Or, well, no, I'm not... If he's, if he's talking about what I think he is, then yeah, he kind of is. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry to tell you, but there's a reason why I there's a reason why I keep hiding, changing my identity, and all that stuff. You're not like <sighs> a bad person, are you? You don't seem like that, but I'm not. No, but I made a couple dumb decisions. Well, if they're just dumb decisions that happened a long not time these ago. Ones. Not these ones. Oh. Hmm. Have you ever... Have you Imagine... Imagine just a dumb decision that you think... You don't really think through the consequences, and then the rest of the world suffers. Um... Uh, that sounds... I don't think I can imagine that. I don't think my decisions have very many, uh... Long-lasting ramifications. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> no. No, no, it just did. Oh, no. Is that what that was about? No. What are you talking about? I had a weird dream with me in it, and me said that I would be having a tough decision, and now I made a decision, and... Oh. And it had... I think this happened. If there's a more stressful decision than this in the future, I don't think I'm going to be able to handle it if this wasn't what I was talking about. Oh, uh, I, oh, right, yeah, that's, that's an ASMR thing, I, I've heard about it from a couple friends uh, along the way. Um, occasionally you get visions of, of sometimes yourself, sometimes whatever you devote yourself to, just like, sub, some sort of image. And yeah. And you, and you sometimes... It tells you when something tough is going to happen, or what to look out for. And... Judging based on all, all the circumstance, that might have been it. That might have been what it was warning you about. Yeah, maybe I could have been a little more prepared. But I'm not a good liar, and I... I think that he knew almost everything I was saying was wrong. So I guess I couldn't really stop it. Huh. Is there anything... Because... I don't want you to have to run away or keep living... Like like this. It, it doesn't seem like you're, ha you're happy. Is there... There has to be a way to convince him that... That it's not your fault. That you're just making a dumb decision. No, no, it... So... I... It, I say d dumb decision, it was... You know, have you ever suggested something and to, as like... As like a possible solution and expect people to build up off of that, but no, they actually just do that? That sure um, happened. And oh. I sure was... I sure did suggest something. Uh, that led to a big deal. Um, you I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry me. too much. Yeah, I, I, I'm yeah. sorry. It, I'm gonna be honest. The more you tell me, the more I feel like I, I won't be able to lie about it. That's also a good point. And the more I say, the more, the more, in the whole, I feel like I need to tell you. So, yeah, I guess. Uh, it, it's better if I just don't know anything than if I know things and I have to lie about them. Uh, Alright. If he talks with you, make sure I or one of the others is there. Pref All right. Because, hmm. I know Chrome knows some things. And I know that... I, I know that the others don't know it that much, but if they they'll they'll protect you if they think that that has to happen. So right. just don't don't do anything drastic, please. I I usually that's that's fair. I I really if, I really don't want something bad to happen to you because I did something wrong. That's fair. And honestly, out of everything, if if 
things do get violent, I I could handle myself. So don't feel don't feel the need to jump in if something violent starts happening. I, I know that'd be tough. Um, I don't know if I can make that promise. <sighs> Trust me, right. I'm 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 good at fighting. I. That's n that's not what I'm worried about. What I'm worried about is, what if you side with me and that ruins your chances of ever really living here again? Or what if you side with? him and have to fight me. I... Hmm. Well, so I don't think it'll come way, to that. Either way, I, I'd prefer if you stayed out of it if things get bad. Okay. Things are gonna go well, okay? I'm gonna make sure nothing, nothing bad happens. Alright. I think the councilman has good intentions but he doesn't know he thinks he's doing the right thing he needs to realize that what you did I don't know what it was but it was a long time ago and it was something that you didn't want for the bad things to happen right? yeah I. that's how I remember it at least I, I'm, as I've said before, uh, the, the whole process that I do to, you know, change myself into different people, essentially, it, it only leaves by, behind vague memories, and so, I, I remember, I remember thinking about how stupid that was, and how, like, I remember me denying it all. I remember all the denial I told myself. I don't remember what actually happened. Okay. I'm sure it wasn't that terrible. I mean, uh, I'm it was sure bad it wasn't for me to... that bad. The end of the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I. I'm. I thought I made amends for it, but people, they didn't see it like that once they found out. I'm sure he'll see it like that. He's, I think he's a good person. Maybe. But I'm kind of a bad judge of character. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Nah. <sighs> thanks okay. for, thanks for telling me all this and. I'm... Yeah. I don't know why I'm so calm about this. I, I should be shaking. I should be, like, in fear. I just... I just... I don't know what's happening. Well, I hope that you're calmer because we're here. Maybe. That might be it. Uh, I don't know. Uh, thanks for... Thanks for all of this, Rai. This is... I... It's kind of absurd how nice you've been. Oh. Well, I just don't want... I don't want bad things to happen to good people. And you're a good people. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Well, that was sort of heavy. I'm gonna... I should probably do something to, like, cheer myself up. I don't want to be sad during this festival. Yeah, uh... I, I hear... To, uh... To, isn't Ambergrove, like... Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I feel like a weird sense of deja vu being here. I... Out of everything, I'm pretty sure I've never actually been here, but something keeps nagging me. Um, maybe one of those uh, past lives of yours was here. Maybe, uh, but that's what I'm referring to when I don't remember it. Uh, yeah. 
could have been. It could have just been like a small thing that happened, and I don't know. Um. So, uh, so is it? I honestly don't. I remember reading something about this area in particular. Is it true that like on the first day of fall, everything turns? Uh, is it true? I imagine it is. Uh, yeah, everything just turns overnight. Yeah. Uh, to the fall colors and everything. It's pretty cool. It's also a little weird. But I think you kind of get used to it once you've been living here for a long time. So it yeah, should probably it's... turn in the next in the next few days. And once it turns, that's when the festival actually starts. All right. That's nice to hear. Um, it's looking out around everywhere, looking at how green everything is, it's really hard to imagine what this place would look like, you know, actually, actually in fall colors. It's going to look pretty awesome. Trust me. All right. Um. Is... Do, do we end hmm. it here or? Huh? Sure. The end of the if you recording. want to. I I don't think uh, no. But do you have anything to do? I think one. Oh, yeah, Silk was gonna do something. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Yeah, d you haven't really done that much this session. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, do you want me to change the music or the same music? I've I've got a theme for Silk. Okay, give me a theme for Silk. Ooh. And hmm. probably find out something. Yeah, we or, need yeah, to. You first. Yeah, we need to, like, um, make it more, how can I say it? And, and Happy? Put a timer, no, put a timer for everyone. Because I, I realize the advice seems take a long time to finish for some reason. I don't, yeah, I'm yeah, sorry. So, yeah, um, maybe if, uh, maybe next time, if, if you take too long, I will give you a sign or something. Just to hurry yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah, uh. That's that's fair. Uh, mm -hmm. Also, Onasame, thank you so much. You've been doing like a really good job. I I haven't actually thanked you for this. Uh, thank you so much for doing the whole uh, like being the whole DJ and everything. Like, it's okay. and yeah, it's, uh, and it's honestly, nothing. keeping us on track for like the actual game because <laughs> we all get distracted it. way too easily. <laughs> also. Also, handling all the recording and editing. It's nothing. It's nothing, my dude. Third man. That's okay. Yeah. Uh, go for it, Silk. You are now in the in, in the battle of love. <laughs> so he just stands there. Leaves are just falling. She takes out her long sword. I own Sakiki one. Yeah, call it a katana because that's basically what it's. Uh, Shabas, so uh, is it here or where? Where's Silk? Uh, Silk is here. Can I put the S? Uh, it's just, oh yeah, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, either type it or hit enter, because I don't... We don't I don't see it, yeah. Oh, oh, she's over in the forest. Yeah, yeah. but I just... Uh... Oh, yeah, right there. She takes it out of her sheath, her eyes close, and she just swings it and then shifts it back. Mm. And just... Hmm. What? Okay. How many leaves does she have? <laughs> uh, I did not hear a single thing of that. Oh. She um, basically takes her, her long sword from its sheath, closes her eyes, and swings it up at the um, leaves, and then sheaths it, uh, sheaths it again. Alright. Uh, did you roll? Yes, 15. Uh, you, uh, let's say there were, let's roll for, like, 1d, 1d12, uh, leaves. Mm -hmm. Uh, are 1d12 plus 2, say that. Uh, there were three oh. leaves. You, there were three leaves. You hit them all. 
She opens her eyes and kind of smiles at this, but realizes it isn't perfect. Not something that she could beat her master with and can kind of try to figure out another way to another technique that's her own and not his. Hmm. Like, if anyone wants to interact with her, that's fine. Okay. Uh, Zen will look at her like... Oh, okay. Um, so, okay. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Exactly. Well, since all of my techniques I've been using are my masters, I don't think I can oh, beat I mean... him with them. I mean... But he taught me them. I'm trying to find out my own techniques. Mm hmm. Something he can't do that I can. Um. I'll be honest, I'm not familiar with technique and all that stuff. My style of fight is just uh, go with the flow and hit as hard as you can. Hmm. If I go uh, flow with, with Master, he's gonna wipe your ass. He's just going to knock you down. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. But, uh, let me think, maybe try to, um, maybe try to change a little bit of the technique, not like getting a new technique completely, maybe change it a little bit, add your own flavor to it. You know, you remember the golf attack that Cliff always used? I tried to change it a little to make it like a baseball attack. Maybe something yes. like that? Mm. Probably. I'm just giving an idea. The rest is yours. Yeah, she's just thinking. She oh, thinks my... of something. Okay. She um, starts... Mm, like, her whole body starts moving in a circle. Like, you know, moving them, we'll go moving back her arms and, and he will say out loud. Circle! She moved! In a circle! <laughs> I'm... I'm gonna roll one... Oh, I know. Add one d6 one. to it, huh? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get for this. Uh, uh, oh god. Come on, Silla, come on! Do it! You can do it! 18. Yay. Okay, you just need my 1d6. Oh. Oh, I'll roll mm. that as well, just to. Mm. Two! Two. <laughs> 20. Yeah, she basically spins and creates a, a round leg slash, but more of like a tornado. So, leaves on the ground just go flying. Uh, uh, zero self listening. Nice. It's like, yeah. Is That'll this... work. Yeah. I mean, as a start, you can start changing it more and more to find. No, it's just a... like, no, this is something I came out with. I don't think he would be able to do this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe because he can't use his, both, both his hand to make an arcing mm -hmm. uh, blade. Yeah. yeah. Good job, anyway. Mm -hmm. You know what, why yeah. not? Hey, Silk! Mm -hmm. Um, I'm kind of frustrated for a while, so I want to, uh, how can I say it? Get okay. out some steam. Yeah, sure, I'll spar with you. Hell yeah. He opened his, uh, hand, like to, like, he op like imagine a bear, like, you know, uh, where a bear Stand in his uh, two legs. He Zion did something similar. Mm -hmm. And uh, are we rolling for strength only, or what, uh, Jim? Uh, if you want to make this into like a mini combat, mm. uh, since since this isn't a combat uh, like session, you could actually do like the full roll for initiative and stuff. Um, mm, I think I'd... that'd be kind of cool. Okay, why not? Yeah. 
I and think let's, see if, let's see if Silk even crits in this combat. Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, yeah. I imagine like Lai just get, get out of uh, the guild mom house, like the guild mom, uh, at the hotel, I mean, and he and he look at the light side and sees Zinon and Silk fighting. Yeah, I think he's gonna he's gonna come out with Apple Core. Mm. Uh, okay, and that's my initiative uh, troll. I've I've rolled mine. Six, okay. Yeah. I think then we'll start. Embrace yourself! Uh, by the way, which weapons are you guys using? Um... I would, okay, I, I thought we asked we'd use uh, an armed attack, uh, an armed fighting. But why not? We can oh, use why not? it. Yeah, what do you think? Noble. I mean, go for it. Uh, Noble, what do you think? Uh, without weapons or with weapons? Uh, what? Uh, are we fighting with weapons or without weapons? Silk is definitely using her katana. <laughs> oh, he will use his uh, hunting horn, <laughs> why not? Or you could try doing unarmed attack versus katana. Hell yeah, he will! Okay, you know what? No, he will use an arm attack. Why not? Uh, Beautiful. Uh, yeah. Uh, Rai's, Rai's gonna climb up this tree and get on like a branch so he can watch from up above. By the way, if you win this, uh, I'm giving you a reward of some kind. <laughs> if there's, it's a, I don't have an achievement for, I don't have an achievement for that. But if, uh, but I'm gonna make one. Okay, <laughs> Zenon start kitchen clothes. He is not attacking uh, directly. He will try to know the distance of her soul, like the, how tall it is, and he yeah. will find this one moment to attack, and he will dash. Natural 20! Yeah. Oh my god. Like, you, you uh, see, you, you see Zinon running into you, and in one second, he disappeared. He go down, like, completely down, trying to grab your legs, but no, he's not grabbing your legs. He go behind you, and he will do a back, uh, a suplex, a reverse suplex. Is that even possible? Um, like, like, uh, a, like, like a it's an at 20, of course yeah, it is. Yeah, of course it is. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so, uh, just, just so you know what damage you do, mm. uh, you have a, what is your strength modifier? Uh, four. Uh, so, one plus your strength modifier twice. Uh, one, so, the four plus... No, no, just, uh, just, so it'd be ten damage. Oh. Because you don't roll for unarmed damage uh, unless you have like, you 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 always do minimum unarmed damage if you don't have, uh, yeah. So uh, if, just if ten damage. Any, just ten damage outright. No, <clears throat> ten damage. <laughs> she has four left, but she she's gonna try something. Uh, for my side action. I, okay, because he was so close to her right now. With my side action, I will move one, two, three, four, five. Ah, here, yeah. And I will. Can I use? My, can like? Can I ready my spell? My uh, heal world spell. Like uh, when he, when Silk attack me, I will heal myself. Can I do that? Or? Uh, sure. Uh, that's a reaction. So yeah, you can. Okay, cool. Or no, it's a bonus action. It's a bonus ah. action. So you could just do it for essentially free your next turn. Yeah, go for it. So. Silk sees how you moved quick and does the same. He okay. moves like the wind. I'm just going to roll. Hey, movement. Just like the wind. I need to be careful. Oh, seven. <laughs> <laughs> it looks... Oh my god. Xenon is the luck leech. Uh, so, like, he stole all of Silk's luck for his mm -hmm. own. <laughs> and replaced it with him. Yeah, when Zenon feel, feel, feel down, he sniffed the luck out of everyone. <laughs> like, so probably moves. Apocor just appears out of nowhere. She's, <laughs> she basically trips. Yeah. And land. Probably here. Okay, cool. That's a perfect position. I will vote for it and I will see what happens. <laughs> no. You are, 
You are absolutely just draining the luck out of Silver. Hell yeah! Zidane will uh, run into the tree and he will uh, like uh, go upward, like uh, have some distance in the air, and he will jump. With the reverse jump, like he will try to do a flip in the air and body slam himself into Silk. <laughs> uh, Silk, how much health do you have left? Four. Uh, that does five damage. Uh, but I also have, um... Uh, oh, right. Second uh, wind. Second wind. Yeah. Alright, so roll for that. Uh, what do I roll? Wait, what's the, what's the, what's the second wind? What the <laughs> Uh, second wind essentially gives you the effects of a uh, the effects of a short rest, but in the middle of combat. Ooh, dang! <laughs> what do I roll for uh, second wind? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's one d10 because you're a fighter, hmm. and so yeah. Five. Five. So uh, so you have four health left. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, can I use a spell with my, uh, side actions, uh... Can uh, I use... Do, do, what, what are you saying? I'm sorry. I can I use my all. spell and uh, like, can I use a spell in my side action? Uh, depends on what action the spell takes. Mm, Natasha Zidius laughter. Uh... If it, if, if it takes, uh, a, like, oh, if it takes, like, an attack action, you can't. Uh, okay, I can check. Because you already, because you already attacked. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think I can do it, yeah. Sorry. Go for it. I, I will ready my, my, uh, healing ward if she attacked me, uh, successfully. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hurricane attack now. <laughs> oh, no. Sixteen. It doesn't hit. Yeah. Uh, What's your armor class? Uh, no, it's, uh, it's supposed to be fourteen. Uh, fifteen, I mean. Okay. But mm -hmm. I didn't have a special ability. When he attack, when he fight an arm, he focus all his uh, body on dodging. So he have seven, seventeen uh, AC. Only when he doesn't have, when, only when he an arm. Is that correct, Jim? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> that is, that sure is the uh, special thing that we uh, that we discussed about uh, Xenon is yeah. that he uh, he is through his extensive training with Cliff, uh, he has learned to master dodging when to, when completely unencumbered, <laughs> which means without to, while holding uh, either two light weapons or no weapons at all, he gains a plus two to dodge. That's it. Wow. Uh, okay, no, but if, if you feel that uh, that is cheating, you have the right to say it's cheating. By the way. No. Uh, makes sense. Yeah. Uh, Zenon will, like, we see you use your spin attack, and he will jump uh, into the stream, like, uh, go back. And he will, after you finish the attack, you, like, try to catch your breath. At that instant, he will slide and try to kick you in the face. By the way, Xenon dis doesn't discriminate. Dis uh, dis he will attack women's, uh, man's, children. He don't care. <laughs> he don't. Xenon is the type of guy to drop kick a child. You <laughs> heard it here first. <laughs> Look, man, if the child is if the child is that bad, he will drop the kick out. Uh, yeah, five damage or four damage. Uh. Honestly, I... Hmm. Let's give Silk a chance. Okay. Uh, roll 1d4. Oh, me? Okay. Bless my attack? Yeah. Or? Uh, just, just for damage. Just one, just uh, 1d4. Bless my strength or without my strength? No. Okay. One. Okay. Oh. You, Silk takes one damage. Okay. And she takes it to the face. She's fine. What the fuck? Okay, you are st sturdy more than I thought. <laughs> and he will, uh, with his side action, healing ward again. 
Oh, uh, just in case. Go for it, soft. Oh my god, she will get natural 20 and Zin will be dead. So he takes her sword and does like a quick slot, like four slashes, and then she Zen. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> You do realize that you're fighting Xenon in his element, right? <laughs> he's used to he's used to sparring against an opponent. Uh, he's used to sparring against an opponent that has a weapon while he has none. Yeah, that is your that is your flaw. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh for damage! Oh, Eleven. Uh, Xenon, like he will, he will. Oh, he, like you will uh, uh, hit him three attacks, and he doesn't feel anything. You put the blade in his in the place, and then, mm -hmm. like he's like eh, how how that doesn't make any sense. And he will use the <laughs> healing wand, but my hope still lies alone. Let me just heal myself. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, we talk. This this move is so fucking stupid, but I love it. Yeah, I love the fact that I love the fact that like. Xenon is apparently he he's just apparently Xenon should become a monk. <laughs> oh, yeah. You do you do three damage. Is is that enough? To, uh, is that enough, Nobu? Uh, no, no, that's not that's not my damage. That's my healing. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. You heal. You heal eight. Okay. Okay. Sorry. I will. I will attack again. Okay, Selk. So, All right. You know this is this fight. Gone for long enough. Let's finish this. Eight? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh, like, uh, 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 after all this wound, he will try to punch, but you dodge easily. It's your turn. Yes, yeah, Silk, seems, Silk seems to be getting the hang of this. She's learning your tricks. <laughs> yes. I, I, what tricks? It's, it's all fair fight, dude. What the fuck? Or she's learning your martial arts style. Yeah, maybe. He's able to predict. Yeah, so this is the, the, the same thing again. This is still four slashes. Oh, this hell no! <laughs> this is like eight slashes. Oh, no. Zeno, no. <laughs> I can't believe you just killed Xenon. Wow. <laughs> I lost my heel! <laughs> I can't believe Xenon's fucking dead. Eleven. Oh, okay, I will go for my heal and see what I get. Like, that's good. But you see her, like, right, you're seeing this. You see her, like, swiftly do this. Like, you see the swift motions of eight slashes. Then the sword sheets. Xenon will say, oh, this damage, this damage will not work. Oh, no! My body! Eight slashes <laughs> <laughs> and Zeno will stand up. Hobbes must lie alone. And he, and he will attack. Making a smudge on head. This is like this is illegal. <laughs> Wait, I just realized something. What is Zenon's healing word? Hope. Yes. Beautiful. <laughs> it's it's exactly Hobbes lie alone, but it's hope. All right. The main idea. Zeno. I'm still up. I'm still fighting. That misses. <laughs> ah! Ah! Go for it. <laughs> uh, wait, d just a second. Mm. Xenon throws a punch. It glances off of Silk's d uh, decently, d or it glances off of Silk's very d decent armor. And what's this? Silk is counterattacking. Mm -hmm. Oh my you can goodness. do it, so. Oh no. <laughs> oh! I can't believe Xenon just dies. <laughs> Xenon will not die! He's a very strong boy! <laughs> Why is it always 11? Why is it always 11? <laughs> she does 11 slashes. <laughs> 11 slashes? Okay, let me just uh, calculate it real quick. I have 9. Uh huh. Uh... Yeah, I. Okay. Oh my god, let me just... Oh my god, I think my, my brain stopped being fried. Yeah, now, it, now this I is have... truly a battle for the ages. By the way, I have 4 HP, this is my last healing. 
Hope. You better hope Make nothing bad out. happens. So Silk, d uh, d being struck, but d uh, having the having the strike glance off of her armor, d she swings the sword multiple times, fast as the wind, and slices Xenon across the chest. Xenon reacts and heals himself you, to, by screaming hope as loud as he can. <laughs> but, in, but in his coughing fit, he's unable to he's unable to do it properly and only barely manages to heal himself to stability. Zin will take a deep breath and he will imagine. He, he know Silk is strong, but the only way to beat a strong opponent is to imagine a stronger opponent. He imagined the strongest man he know, Cliff. And he will ready his final attack. <laughs> 17. That hits. Yeah! Zeno yeah. will run and uh, imagine like a Silk tried to, uh, to slash him. He will grab the sword and like uh, move it sideways and uh, will spin and, and spin kick you in the face. <laughs> Alright. I think that pretty much decides it. Uh, do what? Okay. Do you do damage? Uh, <laughs> Do we want to do we want to make this fight keep going? I don't know. <laughs> I think I have in my last breath to be honest. So oh, okay. Right, I, just I, one, wait, wait, wait. Just I roll have... one plain D4 then. Okay, yeah. go for it, Silpa. Oh, after this next one, I want to have Rai interject. Okay. But. Four. Oh. Oh. Yeah, so, more damage. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> so <don't> flying. <laughs> and Rai is going to. He's sort of up in the trees up here. He climbed up and has been watching the fight from the foliage, and he's going to pull back one of his special pretend arrows that just had a little sack of like dirt at the end that doesn't actually hurt. Mm -hmm. He's going to fire at Xenon. Oh no! <laughs> I'm sure Silk's out of this fight. <laughs> let, let, let me just move Xenon to be, to be more of yeah, in the range. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I was um, the... And it's. <laughs> uh, oh, it no! doesn't hit! <laughs> Xenon, like, oh. I imagine like you hit the ground and Xenon look at you and he will point at you. Traitor! Traitor! Hey, I'm just watching the fight. <laughs> you, 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 so, you, so you shoot me! Okay, Zero, so fuck uh, it. Zero will run me. Yeah, okay. Just a second. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. j just a quick second. Mm -hmm. uh, you see another j shot, exactly the same as what Rai fired, but <laughs> right behind you. Oh, no! Oh no! <laughs> to be honest, this music is so fucking good for this fight. <laughs> yes. Also, it misses. Oh uh, no! Zidon starts like uh, backflipping, like uh, an action hero man, and he will hide himself here, like around here. As I thought, there is too many enemies. I need to win, <laughs> and he will try to. Can I reach Rai? Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can I reach Rai? Running. Um, uh, he was in the trees, but I think you, you can probably reach him. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can because one, two, three, four, five, six. That's 30 feet. Um, yeah. The question here do I have a disadvantage because he is in the tree? Uh,. Let's say that he has cover, uh, which doesn't normally come into play, but uh, I'm pretty sure cover... Uh, I'm pretty sure half cover gives disadvantage, I think. Okay, so... Uh, yeah. For my attack, plus two, huh? Uh, sure. Nine. <laughs> Zeno will try to... Um, 
move up this tree, but oh, uh, it's, oh. it's slipping, and he falls. Uh, half cover, uh, half cover. It uh, it subtracts two from uh, two from any attack roll against them. Okay. So uh, why continue attacking? It adds two to their AC. So yeah. Oh, no. no, Rai doesn't continue attack. He just sort of, uh, he hops down from the tree and is like, uh, Silver always taught me the lesson that you have to learn is make sure that you're the only two people fighting before you uh, start a fight. They will give me that look. Zeno, uh -huh. Zeno, have you mastered the Shadow Clone Jutsu? <laughs> Taking Z a look at the map, there's, Z you know. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll just... Uh, yeah, yeah. Do, do you see this Zeno right here? He's just a log. He just put a log to distract, distract uh, a Silver. Mm. Mm. Let me just L. Mm. Log. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Silver fires at it, realizes it's a log. <laughs> Damn you, ninjas. <laughs> Those <laughs> darn ninjas. Uh, Zeno will look at Sly. Uh huh. You know oh, but to be fair, I was gonna, I was gonna teach that lesson to whoever won the fight. So, he shrugs. <sighs> yeah, whatever. Should probably okay. make sure that Sulk's okay. Yeah, good idea. Uh, I will roll medicine. Oh, do you want to roll medicine, Why? Because you have that uh, ability that you can heal someone or something. Oh yeah, he like lifts his hands and they start glowing a little bit. And he, uh, he sort of taps Silk on the head. Uh, isn't it, uh, isn't it, like, 2 HP that you can heal by doing that, or...? Yeah, it's just equals my level, so 2 HP. Yeah. Which is enough to, like, stabilize her and get her on her feet, because that's yeah. all that really needs to be happening. <laughs> or you could only expend one, and that'd be enough, and then you could have another. Um, I'm pretty sure you can only do it once per day. Mm. Oh. I, yeah. I must be getting that confused with, like, lay on hands or something. No. All right. It's just, you can heal a, te a creature your level hit points with a touch as an action. And that's oh, only okay. one time a day. It's an oh, aspect right. thing, not a spell. Yo, self yeah, no, okay? I, I, I was probably getting yeah. that confused with lay on hands. Yeah, yeah that's, that makes sense. Like, my whole body hurts. Yeah, tell me about it. I held myself three times. I, 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 I think that I didn't supposed to do that. And yeah, it, it, the pain start, start catching up. Uh, okay, no, it's it's bad. Um. Um. I think we should yeah. take the rest of the day, you know, off. <laughs> yeah, it's been um stressful a little bit. I'm glad to be home, of course. Yeah. This, like, bunch of leaves just chop. <laughs> At least we vented a little bit of, you know, stuff. Yeah. Uh, mm. uh, one more thing there. Uh, Silk, nice, nice fight. I'll be honest. Yeah, nice. You are fearsome, to say the least. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you both did great. Thank you. Xenon was a little sloppy. Was I? Uh, like... Silver, Silver actually comes out of uh, out behind the trees and's like, "Good job, y'all." I'm mean, gonna wait a minute. Fight to watch. Were you watching two, two half adult Third? fight to the death without any interference? Uh, not to the death. I mean, for a point, I'd feel like to the death. Like when you, when someone slash you eight times. No, 11 times without knowing you've been slashed, it feels like you were gonna die. And I'm just saying. So good yeah, we have a lot of healers in this town. Uh, she winks at Rai. Yeah, he grins. So oh! Is the massacre and only do that slash oh, oh, twice? Uh, Silver, they, they know. They know their truths. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh okay. Sorry, Silk, what, what were you saying? Oh, yeah. Master can only do that slash thing two times. He can only slash twice. I've improved it by slashing eleven times. She kind of grins at that. Seems like, it, seems like it's sort of 
it seems like it's you sort of had to sacrifice some accuracy there, though. Mm -hmm. It's not an easy technique. Yeah, accuracy is usually a lot better. But, I mean, I'm really good with this bow. Yeah, but... you are really good at, with this bow. And you will point at your misses, your shot that you missed. You're really good. You, your action. Rye's gonna, Rye's gonna turn around and try to hit uh, this tree that's really far away. Okay, no, it's so far. Alright. Let's go! Come on, my boy! <laughs> That's your one. <laughs> nice. Ah. Nice. Yeah. Uh. You. Like. Uh. You hit. Uh. You hit a branch, like a very, very thin branch, and the arrow manages to stick into it. He turns around. Huh. What were you saying, Zidon? Nothing. Nothing at all. Not. Good stuff, my good stuff. He like grins, but. Uh. Well, I'm good at this bow, but, I mean, compared to, like, a gun lance or a big greatsword, it can't do that much damage. But, you know, hopefully I can improve on that. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, you mostly... The thing is, if you, do, if you don't die, you're doing good, good enough in the fight. Yeah, Zinon, I guess so. Zinon has a flashback to the two times that he was so close to die, and this time too, so... <laughs> so just look, he's in on if you were fighting Master's daughter. I don't think you would have won. I've won. Master's daughter? Yeah. Well, he, he has, he has yeah. a kid. Okay. The freak, and big uh, more freaks. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, she's stronger than me. Come on, man. Let me let me be happy because okay, you know. Let me happy that I won for once, please. I I'm happy you won. Yeah, you did. So you, you beat me. Not many people can do that. Rai's gonna like pick a leaf from one of the branches and like write a tiny little like word on it, and he's gonna like stick it to a uh, Xenon's shirt, and the little word says "winner." <laughs> you know what, for some reason Zeno look at it and he, like, give it a little smile, you know, a little smile, like, a little tiny bit smiling. Yeah, I won. You won! <laughs> Apokor eats it up, like, bites it <laughs> off. Oh, hey Xenon, by the mm. way, mm. Uh, I, I just have a little something here for you. Pop quiz! And she throws a snake at you. <laughs> <laughs> like, doesn't she roll or just? No, she just tosses it at you. She doesn't like try and beam you with it, and uh, the snake doesn't bite you. It comes slithering right back to her once it hits the ground. Oh, I thought it was gonna be like one of those toy snakes that looks real, but it isn't. Nope, no, it's no, a real it's actual real snake. snake. <laughs> Rye laughs. Ah, uh, I remember the first time I fell for that. Yeah. Like, oh, I hope. So I was so young home. then. It's like, oh, Cammy's gonna see me beaten up. Hopefully, she doesn't uh, do anything rash. Oh, so, oh. er, do you wanna come, like, do stuff with us? We might but check yeah, out, like. Sure. We should probably go check out the, uh, all the stalls. There could be competition for Xenon's special, uh, food stuff. Oh, yeah. Rai, you would know this. Almost all of the stalls are festival food. Like, Yeah. It's either, like, festival food or those, like, carnival games that are absolutely rigged. <laughs> or, 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 uh, or occasional magic shows where, like, people just show off illusions and stuff. Ooh. I mean, if I, if I, if I worked hard, hard enough, I can be a food stall, a magic stall, and a game stall at the same time. That seems like a big aspiration, and I don't know if that's going to work. I mean, you could you could uh, you could make a uh, a game show about about doing the best uh, trick and the reward being food. Or you can make illusory food. I mean, I mean, I think and the and people with it. I mean, the I think our buy can be the the game. 
like try to eat the good ones. Don't like <laughs> six pies. One of them is the zero specialty. You know. Ooh yeah. I may make it a little bit of a game. Uh, Although uh, I think that that game might end up with someone being exploded. Yeah. That does not sound like a good idea. I will use. I will use another spice. I will not use some special too. Yeah, make it spicy one to make it like explode some of these. Yeah. By the way, uh, so I promised you that, promised you that I will make uh, sweet for you, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I need to. I need you to give me more time. I'm still not used to sweet stuff. When I finish it, you have the right to name it. Is that okay with you? Yeah, that's fine. Cool. She's like walking with a lamp. Yeah. Oh, do you need more oh. healing? I can like. Uh, Silver, do you ha you have healing spells, right? Uh, only one. Or are you gonna need to use that on someone else? Yeah, I don't. I don't think so. See, <laughs> so, yeah, I don't think anyone's worse than me right now. Yeah. Well, you, uh, say that. you say that, but uh, do you know how much its reason has like now four? Like he's the same boat as he. <laughs> just still bleeding. <laughs> yeah, he's still bleeding. Like, he, like he bring his claws and try to bite himself a little. Just not to bleed to death. Uh, she actually checks it up and down on her person and realizes, ah, I have a healing spell right here, and just like tosses a, and tosses a potion at Silk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a healing spell, I see. Nah, I I actually have some. I just uh, I just rather not to use it since it's a bit more powerful than just a potion. Mm -hmm. Would that just be a one d four or? Uh. A, it would be 2d4 plus 2. Ooh. Yeah, potions That's are good... strong. Yeah. Oh no. Uh. <laughs> Exactly one punch's worth of damage. Wow. Xenon has like bone breaking punches, doesn't he? Yeah, maybe. Like, wow. Like, honestly, Xenon has a four in strength, is like professional boxer level strength. Yeah. You know? Has you in Xenon? <laughs> Okay, no one know how that reference? No one know how that reference? Okay, it's okay. I'll oh, take it. no. Yeah. I didn't hear you. Hajime no Zenon. I didn't get that. Ah, okay, Ashton no yeah, Zenon. Don't... Oops, Okay, sorry. guys, you don't know any boxing anime? Come on, man. No. No. Uh, if you want to... Don't really watch sports anime. I don't even watch anime. Hell, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, can we end it here, or...? Uh, do we wanna, like, do anything else? <laughs> oh, uh, just a quick second. I, mm. I have a question for y'all. Mm. Uh... T man, my... T I'm sorry, just... Sorry for cutting out real quick. Uh, mm. I just... My southern accent just keeps getting deeper and deeper every time I... Hell time I yeah! Music. Give me the southern accent, my dude! Wow, Silver, well, you're getting more southern before my very eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, well, see, I I understand that, I understand that you all, uh, that, I understand that you all recently just came into town, and, uh, knowing the inn, there's probably not that many beds. So, uh, do, do you need... If anyone needs a place to stay, I still have a, I still have the spare bedroom. Oh yeah. Uh, you know the I, uh, yeah. Rye used to always use it. Yeah. Mhm. Mm uh, I have a bed in my, uh, you know, my house, my my parents' house. What, but, wait, uh, you, oh, my parents' house. I thought you have your own house. I was scared. No. Uh, no, I don't think I could handle 
like living alone. It seems like it would be too much responsibility. Uh huh. Uh, but uh, yeah. If either of you guys want to go into uh, Silver's house, it's a nice place. You know, there's cool things. Does, yeah. does uh, you ha- I have a bookshelf. Do you have, I have, a, have a bookshelf? A, do you have a broken ceiling or something? Uh, now, nah, but I have a shed out back. Ah, that's good enough. I will, pl- I will sleep in the shed. And yeah. Uh, go. Oh, yeah. Uh, when I say shed, uh, I mean, I mean, uh, coming, going down the path, uh, to your right. This uh, one? Uh, no. Uh, d- well, out, out of character. I mean, like. Imagine you're facing south on this map, then right, so that'd be left. Uh, this one. Yeah. Yeah. Zinan will walk here, reach this point, and he will sleep here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, that other one's the, uh, that one, that other one's the nursery. Uh, don't want to go in there. Okay. Uh, but, oh, uh, I, I don't think I ever explained what I actually did here. Um, uh, well, mm-hmm. uh, just, uh, this is real quick. Uh, well, what I do is I tend to, uh, I tend to raise monsters and stuff. Wait, what? <laughs> is there no one? Yeah. Get, get <sighs> terrified. I want a place where I can sleep in peace, not with monsters. Now, uh, well, yeah, I get ya. Uh, this shed right here, she knocks on the- she knocks on its side. This one- this one's just my tool shed. Uh, that's why I said stay away from that other one. <sighs> Zeno, and you suddenly you understand know where Rai gets it from. You know what? No, I- I refuse. And Zenon will enter the, the wood here, and he will find the most comfortable tree, and he will sleep along it. I'll send my snakes after you. Please no! <laughs> oh, I will send my monsters after you. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, yeah, you that's want, for Zeno. Do you want a full? Do you want to? Do you want a Najarala after you? I, I just went to sleep. Yeah. yeah, she's very good at sending those after people. Oh my God! I'm, I'm the assassin. I'm the bunch of assassins. No, no, uh, no! Did, One time I ran no, off into tell- the yeah. No, One time. no, that was that was a total joke because uh, out out of character because those are deserts, those are like big deserts. Oh, ah, yeah. No, I yeah, she's really good at sending monsters after people. It's kind of fun, actually. What is so the send fun? The baby now, go my way. I'll hug it. <laughs> You know what, guys? I think I take a, I take enough of you for one day. See you tomorrow. We will just hug the tree and sleep. Oh, I think we roll a cami some intimidation, like she just sees Sug beaten up. <laughs> uh, sure. Oh my God, she will follow me. She wants to kill me. No. <laughs> I mean, you have a sword, and he's almost asleep. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh no. No, she takes all gum lance. <laughs> you stole you stole Akame's gun lance. That way the blood is on her. <laughs> Do we know Akame no, I was like I would say what uh Akame rolls her um intimidation. Uh, do you want to? Uh... Oh yeah, Akame. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, I'll look at the modifier in just a minute. She has a. Well, it doesn't really matter. It's a five. Hello. Even if she had like, even if she had like a solid plus five modifier, that that'd still only be dead average. Yeah, Zenon is safe. He will sleep. Good night. She just sees a cameo. She sees Silk all beaten up. Yeah. Uh, I'll be honest, I think Zen before he sleep, he will feel really proud 
to beat Salford. Like, she's technically the strongest member of the team, so he'd be really proud to just beat him. Her. So yeah. Yay! Yeah. All right. Uh, and you yeah. did it unarmed. Hell so yeah. Good job. Oh, you win a challenge. You take on our master. Her master has a ten in it. And strength <laughs> that just wipes the floor off you. Hey, don't, uh, just remember that he, like, survived the turn against the guild master. So, you know, <laughs> Zeno is not yeah. weak. Yeah, you, sur you survived the guild master whose hobby is wrestling. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, do I still the recording now? I think we have it. Uh, well, Rai's gonna yeah, go sure. home. Uh, do you want to? Do you want to see him with Rai? Or? Um, or he's just gonna go home. Oh, okay. Is there anything interesting at his house that he? Uh, your cat. Yeah. Is that what the M is right there? Yep. Yeah. Or Rai's gonna bring Applecore inside because he knows Applecore is well trained and is not going to try to eat his cat. He hopes. Applecore Apple Apple looks like he's go. It looks like he's. Thinking about it, but doesn't. Just but don't so eat smell. the cat. Did we name the cat? I forget. No, no, we didn't. It's, it's an origin. It's an origin white cat. So his name is Malcolm. Mm. What is that? Dandy. His name is Malcolm. Uh, no, Dandy's the other cat in town. Oh, okay. Yeah. There are two cats in this town. This oh. this town ain't big enough for just the two of us. Two of us, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was dying to say this is perfect. Do the cats uh, have a rivalry? Uh, absolutely. No, no. Oh, like, yeah. Th they don't fight each other, but they are, like, like if you could speak to animal, uh, they would be super passive-aggressive to each other. <laughs> Ryan can actually do speak with animals, so... Yeah. Hopefully he doesn't have to uh, do that with the cats around. So he's yeah. talking mm -hmm. to Cammy like, well, just like, we'll get the innkeeper so we'll just take a one room. Uh. Alright. Uh, are you friends of, uh, are you uh, just a second. Uh, she, uh, comes over to, uh, past you, knocks on the, to, uh, knocks on the door of the guild mom. These friends of yours? Uh, the guild mom turns up, looks over. Uh, yeah, uh, the, the, uh, the town guards? Yeah, no, those are, those are friends of mine. She peeks out, yep. Looks at Sug, look how, looks how badly she is. Ooh, ooh, oh no, 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 no. Uh, she, uh, she, like, immediately, without even thinking that she's doing this with the witness right there, uh, she mm. just, uh, tear wounds. On you. Oh no! You played yourself. Mint isn't no snitch. I hope not. I hope not. <laughs> so it's just like, uh, I just had a fight with Zanon for training. It was. It was more of a. I mean, I imagine it's not that weird to see someone using cure wounds. It's. It's a spell fair. you get when you're a druid. And yeah, but but at the same time, the fact that this random stranger that walked into town, nobody knows who they are, uh, knows magic, and the fact that uh, and the fact that uh, uh, Carnelian was told by Rye that she doesn't know magic, kind of implicates. Mm -hmm. Well, Mint isn't gonna tell Carnelian, is she? Not unless she's asked. You Mint is Rai's pal! You only passively know Mint. Mint does... Uh, Mint only, like... Doesn't actually do that much, now that I think about it. Mm. I, I I wrote in her backstory that she's a very boring person that wants to... That doesn't... Uh, that wants to be not boring. Huh. To be honest, that's, that's the life goal. Not, not to be boring. That's a life goal. And... Yeah. And I guess ratting out someone is a good way to not be boring. But... Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. But also so keeping your secret is, uh, but also keeping your secret can lead to a life of mystery. So she yes. might go that route too. 
depends okay. on how you frame it. Mm hmm. Yeah. Dang, I need to come up with a name for this cat. Marcus Velafi. <laughs> that is a good name, but I don't want to steal it. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> you just think of it, you hear someone in the background shouting their name. <laughs> yeah, Rye, also Rai is not the type of person to name an animal a people name. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the cat's oh. name is the cat's name is Pumpkin. I, no, I was gonna say how about Maple since it's absolutely adorable. Absolutely adorable pumpkin. I was gonna say Maple since it was an M, but Pumpkin works pum pumpkin works too. Yeah. He likes naming his pets after items of food. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, that's a pretty big naming scheme around here. A lot of yeah. people are named after just food. Huh. Mm -hmm. So I guess it is kind of him naming them people names, but... Yeah. But, like, uh, yeah, his uh, people Food names. and plants is a big thing. Food, yeah. plants, and colors are, like, are like the big ones around here. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So, yeah. thanks for the god mom. It's like, him, I think you better go heal Zen on, because he's bleeding. Ooh, ooh, oh no, no, no. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll head right over there. Uh, yeah, it's like, it's so close. I cut him a lot of times with my sword. I, I was tr training new techniques. Ooh, all, all right. Uh, I'll, I, li I'll li I like the right idea. Now. I like the idea of, uh, so, oh, I want to train, uh, I want to, uh, to train to new technique. Please, no. Human body, yes. Trees. <laughs> uh -huh. Like if he cut, if she cut down a tree, she would probably panic. Yeah. Yeah, and if you cut down a tree, you have to remove it from the map, and uh... yeah. he cuts down a tree. Yeah. Rice set, tree set does go off. Everyone in the village is like, a tree just went down. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Essentially, how that it, it, they have tree dar. Yes. <laughs> this is like the tree turns out to be a tree, and it's it's a tree bear, tree beard. Ah. From Lord of the Rings. As it turns out, as it turns out, every tree in like the quarter mile vicinity is a tree. Yeah. <laughs> that it's would like, be pretty oh, crazy. Yeah. Uh, the good mom makes Zenon. Zenon doesn't pee. Uh, is you like, is being on asleep? He doesn't breathe. He he's not breathing. What? Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Because uh, because that could be like a fun thing to do. Of like, oh yeah, oh the guild marm's here. Stop breathing is like a prank or something. But... No, he's just sleeping. All right. He wouldn't pull that on the guild marm. She's too nice. To be honest, after all these cats, he will not pull this at anyone. Mm. Uh, all uh, those cats, the hey, tree, you know, like, you all right? the leaves on the tree are no longer green. Uh, yeah, red. I'm, I'm bleeding a little bit, but... Uh. If you look at the tree leaves, they're no longer green, they're red. <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, based on, uh, actually, based on the logic that all of the trees suddenly turn like overnight mm -hmm. that that makes sense that they uh that they just have a property where once they're severed from the uh once they stop receiving like all the nutrients from the tree itself they just instantly turn so that'd be cool <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that, that's scary uh, xenon yeah i'm not so much bleeding i stopped that bleeding by using cloths uh, but yeah it's okay uh, are, are the wounds still there uh, a little bit uh, you can just look at Zenon. Zenon is the one that has tons of sword slashes. You look, you look like you just fell through like a patch of bramble vine. What what happened? Like so, still, still so happened. Yeah. I, how? How did? Did she try and do like death by a thousand paper cuts or something? Zen will. Open his mouth and he closes it. How how are how how do you know this technique? How did you know the, the name of this technique? Oh, that, that's not that's not the name of a technique. That uh, that's the name of a torture method from a while back. Zenon start to get a little bit afraid. 
Did she tie too? Did Swift tie too? Huh. Okay. I, uh, no, that, that was hyperbole. No, no, I'm sorry. Um, uh, here, uh, let me let me get that for you. Uh, she or wait, no, I, I think it might be more effective if if I uh, if you eat this too. Uh, she like holds out like a a random herb that you don't know what it is, and like pretty much hands it to you. Zero mm, uh, will close his mouth. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, it, 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 uh, it's a mint leaf, uh, and then she, uh, like, it's a, it's like an actual mint leaf, so oh, it's okay. very cold on your tongue. Okay, that's better. Uh, and she, uh, and then she uses healing on you, and actually that, huh, something about that, it's weird. Huh. Um, something about that feels nostalgic, almost. Oh. Oh. Huh. Good mom, did you do that before? To, to uh, me? This is, uh, this is an old... Well, no, uh, I haven't actually. This is an old trick that I used to use, I think. One of... In a past form, I guess. Uh, I taught it to a couple people. It might have spread around a little bit. Who knows? I don't know, but it's been nostalgic. Weirdly nostalgic, you know. Oh, thank uh, you. Xenon. Uh, Xenon, roll an intelligence check. Oh my god, there's something. Let me just lower the music, because for some reason it's too loud for me now. And, uh, intelligent it is. Oh. Oh no. <clears throat> cool. uh, you remember you well you were able to remember what part of your life it came from it came from a decently early childhood uh, you don't know exactly when but something about the combination of like mint and uh, mint and like mint and being hurt is a weird combination for you oh Zeno will look at uh, the leaves and. Huh. It's, it's really weird. It threw me back like when I was a child. Man, it's, huh. uh, it's real strange. Uncomf uncomfortable even. <laughs> huh. Is everything alright about that? Uh, I'm sorry if I broke my memories, I just thought. No, I'm, huh. I'm, I'm, I'm just. I'll be honest, I don't remember a lot of that time. It was mostly trying to get through the day, but... Uh, if I remember, I will uh, uh, tell you about it. Yeah, uh, I, the, I'm i gonna... Just a... Uh, I, I guess just an explanation for why I did that. Um, healing spells tend to warm you up a bit, and I thought like a mint might help with that and make it not uncomfortable. Yeah, the mint itself since, is good, since but... Silk told, since, uh, since Silk told me that you used a lot of healing spells on you, I didn't want to overheat you. Yeah, that or makes sense. Least... I, I can see the way yeah. the Gomarm looks at the wounds and realizes, Oh, Silk's master you does this kind of thing, realizes he can only do two slashes, counts them, four, eight, eleven. Always uh... thinks... Oh, no. <laughs> Zeno, no, the mint itself is not comfortable. I mean, the memory that comes from the mint, I think that makes me feel weirdly huh. nostalgic, I guess. Huh. Maybe it's, maybe it's something about the cold? The cold. Maybe something about cold and being hurt? I don't know. I mean, a lot of adults who well, has a lot of stress. This tough problem with us children who doesn't have a, who don't who don't have homes. So, eh, I got my share of beating in the past. I mean, hmm. Well, eh. 
Anyway, thank you. All right. That I, I'm uh, feeling better now. Okay. I, do, I, you're welcome, I guess. I just wanted to check up on you. Thank you. All right. I'll I'll be going. Uh, I'll be in the first hotel, the first hotel room on the right, I think. Mm. Uh, just yeah. Uh, so if you need anything, knock, and I'll sure and will do. I'll be there. Sure will do. When's the good okay. mom gone? I want to try something. Uh, I want to bring my reed pipe and try, like, try to hold it. To like, do you know, like. Try to have a connection because my read pipe is from my childhood. I want yep. to remember. I want to try again. Uh, I want to roll again for remembering. You know? Mm -hmm. Is that okay or? Yeah. Okay. I will hold my pipe, look at it, and close my eye. 13. Uh, what's your intelligence modifier? Nothing. Oh, I yeah. I think that's good enough. Uh, and this would be yeah, this would be like personal history, so that also be like something like a plus two. Okay. And plus the pipe, so ultimately I think yeah, no, this would be fine. Um, mm. I'm overall, uh, the memory brings you back to actually the day Cliff rescued you. Zenon stopped smiling, though. Yeah. You can probably uh, change the music if you want it to be more uh, dramatic maybe, and maybe. appropriate. Although I'm not sure how long this seems to be, so. The cool looks at a cat. Yeah. Look at totally, totally just, just like banjo uh, to, and sad moment really yeah. go yeah. together well. Of course. Mm -hmm. I it. accidentally had the music muted, so I didn't realize. Yeah. Oh. I bring the piano. Zenon, again, remember the first time that he met his hero, the one that he owned his life to, and uh, smiles. Uh, Jim, is there uh, something specific I remember, or is it just that sort of uh, floating memory? You remember very vividly, uh, the, you remember very vividly something, honestly, uh, this, you don't remember, ex it, it goes by in a blur, uh, a lot of, a lot of the memory that you have is not, it, it looks different than how you previously thought it was, it, it was night, wasn't it? But you thought it was afternoon. But no, it, it was night. Uh, it. You're starting to get confused a little bit. Memories start overlapping. You you don't know quite. You're getting memories mixed up and confused, and you're mm. so. You're just feeling generally nostalgic. I think. At the very least, I think there is one memory that's still in his mind. The memory of this old man with the big hammer. It's, it's not even his face, it's just his back, his big back. Protecting, protecting Zenon from a monster attacker. Without any fear, without any hesitation. Maybe that's the clear, clearest memory that Zenon has. For all of his childhood. Maybe. At the same at the same time, you. At the same time, you remember. You remember someone else, honestly. Uh, you look down at the pipe in your hand, and you remember. You remember what, what was his name again? I, huh. Like, do you honor, do you, you're, you're reminiscing, but at the same time, you're having a hard time. It feels like you're... Hmm. He, he will feels like you repl it feels like you've repressed quite a bit. I, like, 
it feels like it feels like you've repressed quite a bit and and recent memory is sort of overwritten a couple things huh. it's a little bit feel like he's he talking to himself like my life started after meeting today but I I know people before that. At least that, this part, this pipe that I have right now, was it mine from the start? Yeah. And then you remember his face. Then you remember the the face of your friend who gave it to you. The one who said. The one who said that you should have it so you can become the best in the world. And did anyone start to break down? Like, how did I put it? And he would look at the word hope. He, you know, he, he didn't cry, cry. He didn't put the word hope on the pipe. It, it, it wasn't his at the first. That boy, he had this small knife and he started cry, curving. The word hope in this pipe for some reason, right? When Zen was young, he, he didn't care about it a lot, but when the time came, when they separated, when the boy gave him that pipe, it was, it was something great for him. This small phrase, the small word, hope. And he hugs his pipe, and tears start to falling down his face, remembering a friend that he holds dear. He, he maybe doesn't remember his name yet, but his face is clear, clear as the sun, clear as his smile. Is that it? Oh, oh the Dungeon it. Master. Dungeon Master, do you have anything more? For my boy. Uh, yeah, I, I cut out a little bit. Um, and, and, and you, you have a, you remember a promise you made to yourself. That one day, you'd return it. You'd bring it back to him. You'd bring it back and play, and play the song for him again. Or play the songs that you loved for him again. The sky doesn't change. No matter time moves. Maybe we change, but the sky doesn't change. Don't worry, my friend. I'll bring it back. And that's it. Yeah, mm. uh, and, and scene. Uh, out of character. Sorry for springing that on you. I I realized <laughs> that was totally uh, just just so everyone knows that was totally improv. And I once I started saying it, I'm like, oh crap! I don't have enough information. Crap, crap. It's, and it's then, okay. Then I'm back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sorry about that. That's good. Should enough. we do? Is there a happy scene we can end on so we don't have to end on oh. horror scene? Ah, so just looks so like a What was that? Smiles. The, uh, her, te her techniques, the fight with Zenon, they're now her own. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It, it will I'm probably okay. be a, a lot happier out. without the super duper sad music in the background. <laughs> yeah, maybe. You know? It's okay. I will stop the recording, okay? Yeah.